How's the CD sound compared to me? Also, there's a dryer on in the background. I have to cough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very quiet. Uh, it should be pretty quiet, to be honest. I can turn it up slightly. How's that? Do, 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 do. Joe, bring back JPH Palm. You got you got a campaign for it. If you want it back into the the tier one sub thing, then I need to hear about it. It didn't get much use, unfortunately. I love the emote. I love all our emotes. All emotes are equal, but some are more equal than others. Alright, so today we are doing uh, fan art for the first time in a long time. Um, the lovely Kay has graciously made the Imager album for us. Thank you, Kay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to show everything that's in here because some of them are for games that we have played a little while ago, and I don't want to show spoilers for a game that someone might not have played yet. So I think I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and then I'm gonna to jump to the uh, AI ones. Or maybe I'm gonna to jump to ones that aren't spoilers if they, if they catch my attention and scroll down. Some of these we've also shown in the, um, in the opening fan out mar montages that we did for a while. Which people did ask for, by the way. I saw someone in chat say, no one asked for those. Like a lot of people asked for those. That was like the biggest fucking compromise people asked for. I got so many DMs suggesting that. <sighs> oh, I swore in the first, how, how long is it? Two minutes. All right, we're good. All right, good. It won't get demonetized. Any crazy dreams of your season, Sandy? I didn't really dream that much last night. Lily's mad at me because uh, because I uh, I dream cheated on her in her dream. Apparently, um, I uh, I got with a, a pizza delivery girl and I just kept ordering pizzas and then you know just cheating on her with the the pizza delivery girl. And I told her after she told me that that was like absolutely insane and that dream makes absolutely no sense. Like, why would I go for a pizza delivery girl when I could go for a skip the dishes girl and get way more food out of it? Like. Why would I limit myself just to pizza? Like, that's... That's stupid. It doesn't even make sense. Like... Why would we do that? <sighs> Alright, so, um, I'm on a different monitor setup right now, so we can see the fan art. I have window capture on instead of display capture. And that wasn't working last time I tried it, but now it is. So, um, so we'll see. Did she look at the pets, the pet store cashier? Pet store cashier? Oh, the pet store cashier! No, it was, it was her dream, not mine. So I don't know what she looked like. I asked if she was hot, and Lily begrudgingly said yes, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, so let me uh, move the mouse over here, and I'm going to scroll down. And are you guys seeing it? Let's see. What is this kind of thing that's scrolling up at the top there? Oh, it's uh, it's the, the menu or whatever. Alright, so we're going to scroll down. Okay, so this is Eraser Chan. I don't remember seeing Eraser Chan by Selif or Salif. Uh, was Racer Chan from a game? Chad Joe over here with, uh, two pencil waifus. Pretty good. Zero escape. Oh, it was, uh, when we could, uh, draw and we could erase in, um, in, in the game. Okay, I remember that. Eraser Chan. All right. Nagito Luck. I'm sure this was one that was shown in, uh, in a fan art at some point. And then we have Maddie. I think this one was shown too, wasn't it? And then I think right after that, yeah, now we're getting into spoilers. I, I scrolled through. Okay, one second. Um, hold on, I'm gonna block the window. Okay. No, actually, really? Oh, okay.
scroll and scroll. Yeah, there are a lot of um, uh, zero time dilemma spoil. No, not zero time dilemma. Zero zero escape spoilers in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> true. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, so hopefully we won't have to uh, uh, black out the screen for uh, for this in the future. Um, maybe we can do a uh, like at the end of a stream. I could say, hey, I'm gonna go through some fan art that might be spoilers to something. Because doing it at the beginning of the stream is kind of um, a kind of a dick move because people might like not realize what we're doing, join the stream, and then join the stream, join the stream, and then get hit by a spoiler right in their face, and it's like that's not cool. Oh, this one we can. Here we go. Boom. This one I can't make bigger when I click on it though, for whatever reason. By Vixit. The the grocery store lady chronicles. Oh, all the jam bread, Mountain Dew, by my statue. I don't get a cake like that. <laughs> Be Be Koi shirt merch wine. Could you imagine selling that design on a shirt? That's where it came from, though, right? Like it's it it's from like I made it a shirt, so so it works, you know. So, <laughs> can you imagine? If I sold merch, it would be the most boring merch. I'd be like, no, no one wants designs or fun things on a shirt. They just want a, a nice quality shirt. So my merch would just be selling normal clothes. <laughs> Buy a shirt. It's just a shirt. I want a Jom plushie. I do not own the rights to Joms. I don't own the rights to Joms. I can't do that. I can't make that happen. Ooh, that's a good one, but I can't show it because of spoilers. All right. This one I can show and it's very topical. It's Florence. Currently uh, in the background. She'll be singing for us soon. I can tell you exactly how soon, but I won't. It's, it's not going to be in the next 10 minutes, let's put it that way. Florence Chan. Already uh, a shoe-in for the uh, for Chan of the Year. Or is, does that have to be a Chan of the Year has to come from the the year of, uh, of the Chan's release? Okay, I'm pretty sure I can show... No, I can't. That, that is a, that's a pretty big Life is Strange spoiler. Okay. All right, let's scroll down to the... Uh, to the AI ones or the owl ones. Do 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 Okay, I have to show this one. I have to show this one. God damn. God okay, here we go. So this is this is not really. I mean, I guess it like it could be a before the storm spoiler, maybe. I don't know, but like like it. Come on, like it's not really. <laughs> just it just it just fits so well. <laughs> I don't know if. If there's a lot of you, youngins in the chat that don't know about Beavis and Butthead, but it just, it just fits so well. <laughs> Baby, you're so cool. Fire, fire, fire. Uh, and then I think from here on we we are uh, out of out of uh, who Spo spoiler territory. Yeah, so it's Bidet Chan, super cute, owns a plunger, hygienic, doesn't have acne, changes her clothes at least once per day, very popular. It's true, it's true, very popular. I am Cornholio, I require, I require TP for my bunghole. Confirm that Cornholio does not own a bidet, is not friends with Bidet Chan. Pretty cute. Thank you, Sam. Here is uh, 
Phytochan by Chrome, who is uh, personally of of the Chans on. Can I? If I hit this, will it like? Okay, cool. All right, that's that's excellent. That's how it works. Um, I love Phytochan so much about the Fido Chan. Fido Chan is like, I'm not, I'm not even going to pretend it's ironic. I unironically like Fido Chan. Fido Chan is, is best girl of all the Chans. Fido Chan was robbed in the awards from, uh, by Bikoi. That's amazing art. Amazing. We need uh, Fido Chan merch. Oh man. Look at the hair. This is why the hair gets more use than 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 Fido Fido's uh, face. What game is she from? She's not from any game. That's what's so great about her. Fido Chan's uh, origins come from Yakuza Zero. I'm pretty sure when um, we were just we just kept faffing about in the open world, and Merrick made her from from that. I'm 99.99% that Merrick made her. I know a lot of other artists made art of her after that. But it's Fido stands for faffing about in the open world from, from Yakuza 0. Why is she so perfect, chat? And now we're into the Alsom <laughs> finger guns by, by Misk. Believe it or not, my hair is longer than this right now. I don't think my hair has ever been longer than it is right now. I'm actually really enjoying it. He's an interesting pro tag for sure. Yep, they're all my husbands. Oh, the eyes. Oh, you can see the mouse cursor too. That's good. Geralt, Carlos, and Yusuke. Oh, there's Sudoku in the background too. Oh, nice. Did I do that one? I did do that one. I, I remember that one. That one was pretty tricky actually. That one was good. I did do that one. Solve it way ahead of you. Thank you, Steel Jester. Also by Steel Jester, they're popping off with all this and the memes in Den, dear lord. Bonk. Horny Jail. Metal Pipe, nice. Double reference, nice. Jazz announcement, please. I will be doing it after we show fan art because I don't want to pull up Discord just in case it messes with my window capture and I will reveal something that I'm not supposed to reveal. But it's on my list, don't worry. Bonk. By Jelly. Teddy bear kind of, would it be a, a, a pog or a stare? Or what, what expression would that be with like the the uh, the eye kind of like bursting out sort of thing? Reddit, it's, it definitely is very Reddit, Reddit or E, Reddit E. It's an Awuga or a Booba. All right, I can, I can see where you come from there. And then we have this one, I think is the last one on the list. So if I scroll down, yeah, this is the last one by Comet Otter. The heart cappuccino with a huge mug. Aww. That's a happy sip right there. That's a content sip instead of a, uh, instead of a, uh, an angry sip. Wuggy taught me a secret technique on how to make a cappuccino today. So I have to, I have to check it out. So this is very topical. Alright, so hopefully this gets a little smoother as I get into it, and also that we um, I don't have to skip over some fan art because of spoilers, but you know, this went well I think. So let me see if I can uh, if I can come down from this. Alright, so I go window capture and I take it off. Now our black screen, and then I do my fade out with the music. Thank you for skipping the God of War ones. Uh there's there was only really like one spoiler from the God of War ones, but I didn't think it was it was uh worth risking it because of uh, how how recent the game is. And now I need to set up my window, so just give me a second. And I also need to uh, post in stream announcements. Okay. Uh, so, like I said yesterday, if fan art starts taking up too much time again, we will have to either 
move it into uh, like a split that we do half of it at the beginning and half of it after break during a stream. I really don't like that idea though because I probably will forget and kind of like get tired as the stream goes on. Um, or we can like make it just one day a week we do the fan art. So we'll see how it goes. I definitely don't want to do it at the end of streams. Um, I will do like a one-off end of stream, like if we need some spoiler stuff, but I don't want to do the end of stream because the end of stream I'm usually tired. Second stream of Al insomnia there we go that's it that's that's the whole announcement thoughts on genshin it's okay i haven't played genshin in uh in over a year now i recently looked through and saw that they added duloc in a suit skin so now they just need to add uh, Made Ganyu and Casual Clothes Noel, and then I'm I'm three for three when it came to uh, my prediction. Um, I also looked through the characters and I didn't see any that looked good to me. Like I really liked uh, I I like some of the earlier designs and I really liked Eula. And uh, since then I feel like every single design has been kind of like just kind of meh, kind of trash. I guess Raiden was all right. I, I don't know. Okay, let me get the game on. Not a fan of Yulin, aka Yula 2.0. No, for some reason, no, I'm not. All right, why are you not on the screen? There it is, okay, cool. Right in and Ganyu above all else. I wish Ganyu was a little bit taller. Just a little bit. A little bit more like Fido, Fido that has the long legs because she needs legs for days to walk around so much when she's faffing about in the open world. The new regions in Genshin are very nice. So I didn't even finish Inazuma when I was playing. I, I just was just doing maintenance, just dailies. That's all I was doing. Witcher 3 video went in any time comprehensible to humans. No, just the dragons. Okay, did I forget to do anything? Uh, we did the fan art intro. I did put my link out. I moved my windows. Uh, sound is fine, I think. Sound settings are exactly the same as yesterday. I have no announcements. Um, kids are being insane today, so apologies if you hear them. Like. They're being really, really bad today. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Load game. Auto save. Okay, so this is the save I did. I'd rather use my own save than the auto save. All right, so let's uh, give a quick recap on what happened yesterday because then I will be able to remind myself as well. Oh, it's kind of telling us. All right, spoilers. Okay, so uh, we, let's see, can I actually go to the flow chart? Maybe that would help. Flow chart. Excuse me? What? What do you mean? Oh, fuck. Oh, what? No. 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 How did... Uh, oh, no. No. No, no, no. How... Is it, is it canon? Or is it just like... <sighs> okay. Okay, whatever. All right, whatever. So we play, we we are um, Date, all right? This is us, we're Date. 
we're uh, 30 years old, we're, we're, uh, we're sexy, uh, we're Kaname Date, uh, we have a lot of things, we, we dislike ghosts, we like pelvises, we like Rika. Um, I googled Rika and I saw some girl, so I guess he just really likes some girl named Rika. Um, so we are a detective, even though we keep telling people we're not a detective, but we kind of are a detective, so I guess the game just hasn't decided. Uh, we are in the Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We have no recollection of any of our life that happened uh, from six years ago. So, you know, from, from 24 onward, or 25 onward, depending on when the birthday is and when it happened in the year, uh, we have uh, no, no memory. Um, of anything that happened before that, which is going to be super important and everything. Uh, and the story so far has been pretty wacky and kind of uh, goofball y, and I like it. Uh, there are some serious moments. I think that it's much easier, and I don't know if the chat will agree with me on this. I think it's much easier to have a kind of wacky, fun story and hit you with a couple serious moments now and then than it is to have a serious story and hit you with a couple of wacky moments now and then while also trying to be move the plot forward now if you have a serious story you can definitely have lighthearted moments but they can't be lighthearted moments within serious context you know what i mean like you can't have like oh we're investigating a corpse and then all of a sudden we're just going to go over and just like have like Oh, by the way, like, yo, like, you, you open that doorknob. You sure like working that doorknob to look for more evidence, don't you, uh, uh, Jumpy? What, what do you mean? <laughs> I like to work your knob, you know? Like, just having that out of nowhere. You could have a scene like that, um, but you can't have it, like, within, like, a crime scene investigation or when they're trying to get to the next uh, murder room and then they start having a long, in-depth conversation about what it would be like if they started to have sex and she would get so wet that he would drown and it turns out that they were talking about different things. I don't know why that example is coming to me, but... Um, um, you know, like that's that's what I'm going with. Uh, I'm sure there is a pro pro possibly a way to make it work, but I think you you need to have those scenes separate from the serious parts and have some sort of divorce. Whereas if your if your story is more lighthearted and fun, you actually can have a moment in the lighthearted and fun that you can go kind of dark and serious, and it can work. But you can't really go the other way. Um, that's what I think anyway. But we'll see. Uh, there's probably exceptions. So we are this guy, and like, like I said, so far the story is pretty lighthearted. Um, or not lighthearted. It's more. It's a comedy more than anything else, and I'm okay with that. Uh, so uh, Shoko is dead. She was killed right at the beginning in the f opening scene. She's actually the first character we see. His her corpse was sprung up on a on a merry-go-round in an abandoned amusement park or something like that, and she is the mother of um, Mizuki, who is our roommate. We just, we just live with a 12 year old girl who we are kind of almost like a parent to, but not really. I don't know, I don't understand this. I don't understand how this even started happening. Um, we are best friends with, or good friends with Renju, who we met after we lost our memory. And he is the father of the same girl. And apparently he's also dead now, by the way. Um, and apparently he's okay with the girl living with us too. And it was to the point that the, the main character said that he hadn't even really spoken to her much lately and didn't really have much involvement with her. And I don't know. And it's kind of weird that we just have this girl living with us. Um, anyway, so we, are, so we found her at the crime scene. Uh, if we can go to the flow chart and see maybe flowchart and see so if we go to the flowchart um here so this is where we went to the uh to the carousel and we found her and dad and then we also found uh mizuki hiding in in the back of the carousel with an ice pick that was that she pulled out of her dead mother's eye and um she was uh, very emotionally distraught because of this and she couldn't talk um because she couldn't talk we took her to the hospital and then we continued our investigation into different areas. Uh, oh yeah, this, I haven't even gotten to this character. There's, there's so much to talk about. Oh yeah, that one. Um, so then we had to like go into like um, like some sort of like the advanced brain investigation unit that we are in in the the police department has a like a machine where we can like link consciousness and dream states with with a suspect or a victim in this case. So we did that. It was actually really cool. Uh, we did that, and we were able to um, get get to Mizuki and kind of like break her out of her uh, emotional unrest and she was able to talk again and since then uh, we've just been like going on to an investigation to find out who killed her mother. Uh, we thought it was her dad and then we went to, we found out that the dad was dead too so uh, it turns out there's there's more of that going on uh, or there's more murders going on. I don't know if we can see that over here. 
yeah, we, we took her and she can talk and then we found, uh, oh, this is, this is the new one. My bad. So this is the new one. Um, the, the, this person is the mother of, uh, God, it's this, this is actually hard to recap. I'm glad I'm doing this. This person is, um, Hitomi and Hitomi is the mother of, um, Iris. And the reason why Iris is in the story is because she's, um, she's secretly our daughter. No, she's, uh, she's an idol and the reason she, oh, fuck, um, Mizuki is friends with her, but Mizuki is also knows this guy, Oda, and Oda is one of Iris's simps. And Oda went with Mizuki to the carousel where the mother was found dead and because someone gave them a message and Mizuki won't tell us who it was and we're just going along with it. Um, so we found her dead and then we, we had to go and question Oda because we were like, why were you there? Because we didn't know that yet. That's how we found it out. And then we met Iris and then Iris like blackmailed us into coming to the crime scene. So we took her there. And then after that, we had to take her home. And there was this weird flashback where like the, the, the we were interacting with her when she was a child and in kind of like a it seemed to me it was more like a, a, a parent child kind of interaction but it also could have been like a like an older brother younger sister interaction um it could have also been like a teacher student interaction or something like that i don't know um so some, something like that and then we took back and, and met her mom and the mom seemed to think that we uh that we we knew her from somewhere um our character had a dream about her where she ended up being killed by somebody and the dream was with uh alba and here's where we'll end it. Wow, this is actually really hard to uh, to fucking uh, to to recap all this and everything that happened. So Alba is um, is an, a person who lives in our head. Uh, she's she's an eye and like literally an eye. She's an AI eyeball. She's uh, she lives in our head. We we were missing an eye, and after the end, we lost it. I don't know how we lost it. I think we it happened like when we got amnesia, I guess. And a year after losing our eye, um, this guy gave us gave us a, a, a waifu. Um, where is he? This guy gave us a waifu. He's a part of the advanced brain. Uh, department and he likes to mime typing on a keyboard as we can see here it's one of his hobbies even though it's not listed down here uh he he developed this and it, it's an it's an ai robot that lives in our eye and um she is able to link conscious with us in the same way that we link to consciousness with uh, mizuki in the dream realm and we can work things through and get through kind of mind locks or whatever at one point it said that that date wouldn't remember that but he did clearly or maybe he's remembering it a little bit and it's kind of like fragments of memory are coming through i don't really know um he also his favorite pokemon is bulbasaur and uh he he's one of those types that likes bulbasaur so much that he doesn't evolve bulbasaur like he he's never had a venusaur or an ivysaur just 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 bulbasaur that's what that's what he keeps bulbasaur at um so uh this is linked back to the the missing eyes is that the two victims so far the murder victims uh maizuki's mother and father are both missing their left eye which is the same eye that we are missing that that is missing and this is linked back to a series of murders that the boss knows about um oh those are her legs holy shit uh the boss knows about a series of murders that happens uh six years ago which is eerily eerily linked to when we lost our our memory and also when we lost an eye there was someone called the the cyclops killer the cyclops killer um, killed four women in the countryside and removed their their right eyes um, uh, After he killed them, I presume he he killed them. He removed their their right eyes uh, After killing them. That's important. That's why I'm saying it so many times and uh, left their bodies for them to find I guess and Apparently it's a different killer. It's impossible and whoever it was or whether or not they were arrested or anything like that is a national secret and we're not allowed to know she knows what, what happened with it. He knows what happened to it. Maybe everybody knows what happened to it, but we're not allowed to know. It's a national secret. So it's clearly not us or we were involved in any way. And the reason why she says it can't be the same killer is because it's a the it's the left eyes being removed now. It's not just young women that are being killed. And also the eyes are being removed before the the people are killed. So it has to be a different person. It can't there's no way it can be the same person. And I think that's us that we're caught up now. We're going to the crime scene to investigate Renju's death. Um, and Mizuki snuck into the car and no one noticed, even though she's clearly visible from, from the rear view mirror. And that's it. That took a surprising long, surprisingly long time. 
I won't do a recap like this for every stream, but it was good to do the first one to make sure I'm on the same page. Did I forget anything? Joe, give us your working theory about what is going on again. I don't have really a working theory. Like, I, like I obviously know that we were involved in some way and in, in what went what went on, but I I really don't know. Like, like the game threw so much wacky shit at me. I don't even know what to take seriously and what's actually a clue and what's just stupid. Like, you know. Oh, why can't I tell you about about the past murder? Because I had a, I ate a fortune cookie and the fortune cookie just happened to say don't tell him and that just like made my memory think okay I just won't tell him who's him who who's next to me right now oh that day's next to me okay I won't tell him what should I not tell him about hmm I won't tell him about about the murders he did you know like like who knows I forgot Pewter's gay manga collection that's true I did forget about that is the game any good it's all right yeah. You didn't mention Renju being sus, I think. Yeah, it looked like Renju was the killer, and Renju killed uh, his his ex-wife and Mizuki's mom, but now he's dead. So I guess he could still have done it, and then someone else killed him, but that seems unlikely now. That seems unlikely. All right, so I think that is it. Let's continue. Continue. Dashboard. I can see paradise. Did I put anything in there? You could have put a gold brick in there and it wouldn't slow us down this much. Okay. Have you checked the back seat? Oh, right. But I can't just turn around and look while I'm driving. Just check the rear view mirror. Whoa! Holy crap! Mizuki. Hey, watch out! Eyes forward, stupid. Mizuki climbed to the up to the front and sat in the passenger seat. Hey, Dante. Why do they call it a dashboard? Because it makes the car go faster. <laughs> The center console. Hey, Date, why do they call it center console? Because it's the middle of the car. <laughs> uh-huh. And why do they call it a tachometer? It measures how many tacos worth of revolutions the wheels spin. Because the tortilla is round. That's true. Yeah. Obviously. Hey, Date, what would happen if I grabbed the wheel and spun it super hard? We would spend the rest of our very short time together thinking about how stupid that was. I'm gonna sneeze. Phew. Is this where you keep your weird stuff? Yep. No, but don't look. Damn, is it that obvious? Ooh. I also have a glove box. It's in the bedroom. Oh, so does he! What are you looking at me for? Watch the road. I have two eyes. I always have my head like this when I drive. You were looking forward before. No, I was just projecting an illusion. This is the real me. Okay. You project an illusion when you're by yourself? No, I knew you were there. Your neck doesn't hurt doing that? No pain, no gain. What? Adults have to make sacrifices. You're an They'll adult? understand when you're older. I don't think I'll ever understand you. L lives with him, by the way, for like at least a year, I think. Like he's looked after her, like, like, I guess better, you know, like, I don't get it. I did four so years? They're probably Wait, hold on. I thought it was now. a reason. Four? But they barely interact? You can't just, like, let an eight-year-old just be independent? What? Like, they're probably freaking out right there right now. Okay. I'm taking you back. No, don't. Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Yep. Take me with you. I can help. How is a little runt like you going to be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. You don't, you don't uh, interact no. with him, though. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. But don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. 
Got it. Dead. No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? Whose side are you on? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Okay. Sounds pretentious to me. I agree, actually. <laughs> Is is there anything more insufferable in media than than like the child prodigy? Like like fuck off. It's so annoying. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about daddy, but I heard from daddy that mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Uh-oh. No. Shoko had a secret? Shoko had a secret? This Shoko? This Shoko skills lying and cheating? N no. 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 The one who dislikes someone who hurt her in the past and likes to be envied and praised and enjoys lying and cheating? No. no. There's, there's no... What? What? No. Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? I did, yep. Yeah, I yep. did. Yeah, of course I did, yeah. That whole company was a big scam. No. Scam? A scam? Well, I don't know the details. NFTs? They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. Shoko was kind of hot, huh? really rich like that. Okay. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No. Nope. No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. Therefore, it doesn't exist. They must have been extraordinarily careful. Hmm. It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. True. Yeah, why you should be a little yours? more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. So she's breaking in, she just walked in. He does raise a valid point. Yeah. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. Well, can't you drive this car? Can't you also you lock too? the doors? First time chat. Pfft. What? comes in first time here's something you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna type p f f t in the chat Pfft. all right so you were talking to yourself again i heard you it's creepy you should cut that out i was talking to alba out loud before i noticed the Uziki in the car yeah like i don't understand why this has to be a secret still like I can kind of almost understand it having to be a secret when when she didn't know about the advanced brain division bullshit, but now that she knows all that, just like, like wouldn't he want her to know about the AI thing so he doesn't have to keep it a secret anymore? Just, just goddamn tell her, man. Who cares? It must be what she's referring to. It's gonna come out in such a casual way later Mizuki too. Is still unaware I exist. Yeah, I know. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I know. There's no reason to hide it since she already knows about Abyss. Woo! Let Let's fucking go. It's just hard to explain. Yeah, let's go. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Out loud again. Shit! I said that out loud. Date, I think you should go to the hospital. Okay, I'll take you back on there. Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Nice. If you nice have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. What do you mean? Fair enough. Okay. All You're right. an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Whoa. Damn. Rat. What do you mean? Just being polite. Like, like every single time I take a, uh, I, t I take a taxi, I have to ask the person if they're having a busy day. <laughs> That's my first question. <laughs> I'm not okay. So you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off.
That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. He's dead. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I, I really like I her. I'm not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. I like this dynamic Ew, a lot. I don't this is know good. About your type. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. This is this is way better than the the Phoenix Wright uh whatever the hell her name was dynamic. Can we have another scene, please? Sunfish pocket. Mizuki and I walk back into Sunfish Pocket. Where lunch is on the docket. Good to see you, sir. Hey, what's your name again? And this is Have you looked through the case file yet? Ooh, nice dodge. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victims. Yes. Please let us through. Kind of an elaborate pose of the body, huh? Very Hannibal. What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. Oh, it's Kagami again. It's Kagami. Kagami? Kagami? I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. Of course I remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. What is it again? His name is... Vegeta. Hey you, what's your name? <gasps> Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend, uh... Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? Another inspector. I hope you find some clues. What's the name again? <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over... Get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. You too, Kagami. No, we didn't find anything today. You can leave if you need to. You can leave all this behind. Renju's corpse was hung up by three wires on some beer kegs? Huh, that's the counterweight? The wires are tied to three kegs. That Each represent keg has a capacity of 20 liters. His three sins. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Okay. Didn't weigh much then, did he? A chair. The oil drum must be some kind of the interior decor. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Okay, why are you telling me all this? Inside. My god, my god, anime figures. What? There's something inside. I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? No. Correct. No. Oh, sorry, yeah. Let's open it. What? 
this is. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, you think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But yep. this is what I wanted. But I didn't want like to run away daughter. from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... To be weak. Oh, pretty on brand for a daughter, by the way. Kate will not do anything without it being a fight or a debate or just like having to have it explained to her. Like just, oh man, just just everything. <laughs> Eat your food, why? Have a drink, why? <laughs> do this, why? <laughs> you can't you can't wear two layers of clothes and and three skirts, why? Just. <laughs> Everything is a struggle. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Uh oh. So you cared about your dad, huh? huh. Um. Hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I lied. I'll tell you if I notice anything. All right. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. <laughs> Besides, Date? Uh, Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. She's right, by the way. He's usually in the spot where we found hey. Renju. Are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time... You can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Yuzuki acts tough, but deep inside. The store Dragon's menu. Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? That's like eighteen dollars, isn't it? The store's menu. You divide by a hundred, right, to get like a uh, approximation to USD. I can't find any clues on it. It's not gonna be exact, but it's a good approximation. I remember for that from Persona. The walls are decorated with life preservers. The doorway to the kitchen. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. What? But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. Thanks, Alba. Very cool. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. All right. Hmm. No doubt about it. It must it's have been shit. considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. Yeah. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Or just the counterweights. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Of course. Okay, please do so. God damn it. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this. But you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. Okay. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. My god, it was McReady! There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. But this... Excuse me, this heavy ass watch was uh wouldn't let him go up, so they had to take it off. That's why. Perfectly balanced. 
Renju's corpse was found hanging from the ceiling beam over over the counter under the table. This is pretty hardcore, actually. What the hell? Why go through this much trouble? Either someone re oh they were who strangled too is it a shadow? Someone really disliked this person, like really really disliked this person, or they just really love killing. Like they they want it to be like a show. Like it's it's a part of the the presentation is important, not just the actual murder. I guess it could be both too. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion along with petechia around the face and throat. What? Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. <sighs> Any indication of the murder weapon? Is that broken capillaries or whatever? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Okay. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Interesting. Do we have an estimated TOD? Howard. Yesterday, around 8 p.m. Yeah. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Interesting. Renju's approximate time of death was yesterday, Saturday, around 8 p.m. He was strangled by a cloth or something similar from behind. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. Oh no. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. The left eye has been pulled this out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. I mean, the only in that regard. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Nah, I don't think it's the same killer. Coincidence. The right eye is still there. Okay. Renjin and Shoko both had the left eye taken before they were killed. Alright, is this flashing red because I've looked at everything? Because if that's the case, I would very much like to know that. Because then I know I'm done. Yeah? Alright. Great. Alright. Awesome. I'm happy about that. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. He was definitely murdered somewhere else and then carried here. It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. That's 200 liter capacity and weighs 44 pounds empty. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid. Alright. Is there anything to look here? Ranger's wristwatch was inside the oil drum. Okay, now we're done. Is that a, trident. a spear? It is a trident. It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renju was stabbed. A trident. Doesn't have anything to do with the case. A second trident. Table, chair. I looked inside this wooden box. There's nothing in there. Empty wooden box. Barrel made of wood. Nothing special about it. Wood. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that are working here. What are you here. staring at? Creeper. Oh, there's Hi, a camera. Bro. What do you mean? They're suspects. Pictures of maids on display. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. Wait, what? What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Mm, how did they pull that off? What? So there's no footage of the Institute. Nothing special. Officers guarding the doorway. Officers guarding the doorway. Doorway. This club's located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Oh, I thought we were on the ground floor. That, that's interesting. Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? No, there are none. It's an elevator. Searching. No, one, there's no records of an elevator. Found it. Really? The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. What? According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. 
at 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Ooh. Uh-oh. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Uh, who, him? I don't know his name. This is on the second floor. There's nothing out the window. Would she say 310 pounds and he weighed 155, 158? So, with, like, I don't know, something used to move the body or whatever, like, the other person is probably approximately around the same weight as, as Renju. Okay. You see kitchen back there. Nothing looks suspicious. Store signboard. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemnus Gate and Iris works for them. She used to work here, too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Uh-oh. Yuzuki tried calling Iris. There was no answer. All right, who's best girl here, chat? Who's best girl? I'm going to say of the ones we can see, um, I would definitely go with none of them. Have any idea where she might be? Excellent I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Who hasn't? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Ota's no. phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Oh, god damn it. God damn are we gonna are we gonna decide where to go now? Music he's looking this way. Hey, go to Marble Lemna or go Skate, to Lemna Matsushita Skate. Diner it and is. Marble. Oh. Let's head out. Oh man. Okay. That we ended the stream yesterday at the best best uh, point we possibly could have, huh? Streamer instincts. You can't teach that. A big anchor. <laughs> Weighing us down. Alright, where are we going? Should we go one, two, three, or should we go three, two, one? Let's go three, two, one. Nice. Is this it? Yeah. Big you know about vibes. this place? Yeah. This is where I met Renju for the first time. Five years ago. Interesting. One year before you Didn't moved Didn't think in. this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. Okay. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Uh, heat pump on Shut the floor. Up. That's unusual. Huh? Let's head inside. Where is everyone? Joker? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Mama? Okay. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Uh-oh. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. Is this important? The investigation is ongoing. Oh man. 
Wasn't there like a, a hole in the wall bar like this in Yakuza Zero as well? And there was one in uh in Persona 5 that was a little bit bigger than this where you met that journalist. There's a tiny little bar like this, it's almost exactly like this actually in Yakuza Zero. Is this a thing? There's a TV on the wall. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? Power Rangers. The one with the girls running in slow motion. Baywatch. What was so good about it? The girls running Everything. in slow motion. Man, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. No, Can't you I'm not just there. drive. <laughs> Indeed, I can. But I refuse. Okay. Why? Are you drinking? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. There are balls of alcohol. What the hell was that noise? It's a menu. It has writing on the back. The bar counter. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine bottles. There are nine bottles on the counter. Just kidding. There are eight there are eighteen. That's how many there are. Let's count carefully. Aw oh, fuck. There are eighteen bottles lined up on the counter. Well done, game. You got me. This poster on the wall. Talented Mr. Dickley. I wonder what that is. Ah. 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 There's a poster on the wall. Menu. Sofa. Table. Table. Co hanger. Hanger on the wall. Blackboard. Specials written. Chalkboard. Slippers and tomato soup. Picture on the wall, it's a little odd. Okay, I think we looked at everything. Oh, radio, this means playing on the radio. Refrigerator. Hey, Mizuki, you mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Refrigerator, okay, get the hell out then. My apartment, why rules? My refrigerator. Lord of the refrigerator, beer tap. I don't tap. want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. Whoa. It's not stupid. A beer tap. Okay, it seems like the top one is usually the one that progresses things, so let's do the other ones first. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Nice. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here at Marble. Oh, there there was a conversation. Really? Yeah, okay, let's play it back. I'd like to the see it. The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Okay. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. And why? Why? At the time... Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemniscate, and mentally unstable. Okay. So it was a display of excellent judgment. What? It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. So let me ask my my new friend that I barely know, who just went through amnesia like a year and a half ago, who is also a police detective, who has a secret eye thing to look after my kid for me. Lamayo got him. All right, cool. You think so? Sometimes I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Was it? Let's hope so. Dear God. It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Nope. Yeah. Oh. But I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. Okay. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. Yeah. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, no, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. Yeah, it's pretty normal you, nowadays, that day. You haven't kissed anyone yet. Kissed? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. Kissed at 12? 
like it wasn't exactly common, but like in, in my high school at 12 years old, there 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 were some students that were banging. Never mind, just kissing. <laughs> like, <laughs> as as the years went on, that was <laughs> just increasingly more common as it went on. <laughs> He's worried about kissing. Did what? Sat at a table. Really? Yeah, office. really. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. People Data were lying, really? Children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. <clears throat> Chat. Unless you want to accuse me, me of lying, okay? I very nearly to the point that I had to say no to the girl while, you know, about to do something, almost lost my virginity at 13, okay? And I was not that popular, good-looking kid, all right? That was 13, that's me, all right? I believe that there was, it was not common, but at, at 12, yeah. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, her effort is wasted. Is that not what it's like in high school now? I, I thought it got worse with every generation. Is has the actually like has it gone the other way? Because that'd be really good if it had to go if it, ha if it has gone the other way. That would show progress and that you know sexual educa sexual education is getting better. It got it's gotten way worse. Okay, yeah, that that that, that tracks to me a little bit. Yeah. I don't see how it could get much more more worse than that. Just to be clear, by the way, I don't think it's a good thing. Absolutely not a good thing. But, you know, what's good and what's reality often don't match. Is you say next to me? Okay, are you tired? This changed into something else. Let's do this one. I told you I don't want to. Why not? Because, um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. That's in the bio. Not really now. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let's confirm it. We knew about that. Here. Oh, what? It's right here. Dislikes how Date holds chopsticks. It tracks. It's there. Who's this? Inspector Ar Araya Kagami, sex male, age 30. We're the same age? Birthday, July 20th, 20. Inspector, profession, an officer working for the CSI unit of the MPD. Likes ear picks, dandelions, afros, kasarin, pazaran. What are those? Cause, oh, it's one thing, kasarin, pa pazaran. Kazarin Pazaran is a mysterious object such as what? Yokai Wiki? Kazarin Pazaran is a mysterious object such as a white fluff ball. Its body is extremely light and it moves by floating through the air. It is said that if a person encounters one in the wild, it will bring them good luck and happiness. Legendary creatures from Eastern Japanese folklore, which have their origins shortly after the the Edo or Edo period. What? These look like the things that 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 Yoshi run into and in, in, in touch fuzzy get get dizzy. Dislikes people who don't remember his name. <laughs> Cilantro. Yeah, who we and him, man, we're the same. And Ginkgo. Ginkgo. It's a tree. You don't you don't like a tree. Hobbies train surfing, extreme ironing, skills pretending to be dead. Overview, an expert inspector with remarkable skills. He was assigned to the new Cyclops serial killings. He's actually really cute when he takes his mask off and he's single. I love these. I love these so much. So much I love these. My favorite part of the game. It's like a child wrote it, really now. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. 
It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Nah, she's always like this. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, did we miss a line of dialogue? Dante, honey. Long time no see. Hey, Mama. How hey, you Mama. Been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Renju's dead, by the way. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. Oh, you already it's know. It's okay. okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. A again, wasn't there wasn't there a bar with this kind of character in it too? Is is this a thing, or is it like a, a becoming a thing, cliche or whatever? Is this a, a, a cultural thing? I don't know. Like, it's it's a trope. Okay. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? <laughs> hey, Mama, I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh, I guess crying isn't going to solve the thing, is it? No. Go ahead. Ask away. Okay. I'll You're help gonna... any way I can. We're going to go behind the bar, though, right? We're not going to stand here? Okay, good. All right. Oh, time to look at everything again. A poster. One flew over the, over the cock's nest. Sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. It's a good movie. There's a flyer on the wall. Poster. There are bottles lined up on the counter. This is a painting of St. Sebastian. St. Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. There's music playing over the radio. Oh, Mama, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Excuse you? A refrigerator that honestly does kind of look like my oh that's what he meant i was wondering if that's what he meant okay that's what he meant all right gulp all right kind of rude there are bottles of alcohol on the shelf there's a tv installed on the wall nothing's on it there's a menu on the chalkboard fried slipper with herbs okay so i kind of dislike that you have to inspect everything multiple times again to get all the dialogue and shit maybe i just need to let that go but I'm, like sometimes it's funny Let's just do it one time. Just one time. Hang around the wall. Man, really makes me think of Renju. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. Painting of Saint Sebastian. Apparently, it was a gift from Renju. Is that a knife? What is that? Hey, Date. You hear the one about the drunk ballerina? No. What about her? She quit the ballet because she was always more interested in tap. <laughs> Minus two. It's a menu. Is has writing on the back. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Right, this is for Renju and also Birger. I promise. For Birger. A beer tap. Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. 65? That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. 
<laughs> I'm right in the middle of that. What are you talking about? I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Well, I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. You're shy? Good call. I was planning on going one day when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. What's a uh, legal drinking age in Japan, chat? Is it 21 or is it 18? 20? Izuki is curling up a little. Maybe she's intimidated by Mama. Izuki seems to be wary of Mama. 20. What is it? What is the cultural drinking age though, like in Japan? So like, if you're if you're in the UK, um, it's pretty common when you're a teenager before like before drinking age, you can have a couple drinks with your family or whatever. Not you know, not a couple. Like they'll give you a drink. It's like kind of socially acceptable to like give your your teenage kids a drink, you know, now and then. Um, in America, that seems very bad to me i don't does, does that happen in america like canada and america seems a little bit more like puritanical when it comes to giving your kids drinks before the drinking age it's kind of like meh you know like, what do you mean i don't give you a beer like m maybe it's uh maybe it's not like that in a lot of places I i'm gonna guess japan is is somewhere in between those two not bad hey that's good i want you to keep this place open as long as you can it makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Should probably ask people who've actually Just been the to one Japan. Way not fine, Everyone in chat has been to Japan, right? All all weeps have gone to Japan. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? I'll pass, thanks. Okay. You two have a very friendly relationship, alright. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. I'm gonna have to turn the heater on, chat. It's getting Apparently, really cold down Wen here. I had some connections with the Kumakura gang. I have my insulated pants on, too. A gang? A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, deja vu. Well, there was the watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. This watch? Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Okay. Was it this watch? Who was looking after Mizuki during that? Pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. It was the one I found in the oil drum of the sunfish site. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the sea? I killed him for it. Ren was given that watch by his lover. Shoko? It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. Do we have to say it like that? I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? In the alley? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Uh, that's illegal. 
Wait, you're leaving? <laughs> Scared of me, huh? I gotta hit the head, sorry. No, it's just... Um... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. Give her a nod and a wave and left. Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. Doesn't have a cell phone, by the way. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. 52, by the Send way. Send someone over to pick her up. Whoa! She's what we... not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. Why are we... I took what? her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Oh. So we're going to go back and get her when we go and see Iris? Do 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 Hey Yazookas, what's up? Mew, 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 mew. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Mew. Hey Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Is it combat time? Do you want to die, old man? You bastard! <laughs> what? Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. What the hell was Name's that? Name's MoMA, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. First what do all, you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. Based. Oh, time to look around your office. Do, 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 do. Company philo philosophy on the wall. If you accidentally enter a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obligated to order a drink. Even if the bartender gives you that order, that order a damn drink look. That's quite the motto. That's your motto? Ideals and, okay, some kind of permit. There's a locker near the window. It's full of gay porn. Oh man, gay porn all over the yeah, shop. Yeah, look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. Tiger rug. Last month's schedule is written on the board. 21st. Ikakin's beatboxing for beginners. Last month's schedule is written on the board. The skinny one. He's completely out. Dude, let's take his knife. A knife one of them was carrying. That kind of... The kind that knifes nicely at night. It, it it's just might okay there would be no point in talking to him in that state the entrance partition this partition stuff in the door probably just scare you from the hey, visitors it's pronounced partition and not partition okay i know how it's pronounced everyone knows how that's announced that that's pronounced okay there's a partition set up on the doorway Who asked? Yep. To say to you. Let's see some who asked in the chat. Damn, doing numbers. The fat one, he's holding his stomach in pain. It's a desk, it probably belongs to someone in the gang. There are a ton of things on top. Lockers lined up on the wall. I mean, I was a little close to 14, okay? I was closer to my 14th birthday than my 13th birthday, okay? I, I feel like a little bit like a skeezy degenerate since I said it, alright? I'm not proud of it, alright? I was. Closer to 14 than 13, all right? Like, not a highlight of my life, all right? The door is the next room. A chair. A 
The more I talk about my childhood, the more chat and jads makes me think I had a very unusual time. <laughs> so it, I always thought my life was pretty boring and normal, and it turns out it was boring and unusual. It's kind of frightening <laughs> seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary, Scary lanterns. lanterns. You don't have to repeat it. Scary lanterns. Oh, is that a dragon ball? A bronze dragon. A bronze dragon holding a golden ball. You are not normal, Joe. Whoa, you have to say it like that. Golden ball, huh? Dragon ball holding a, a dragon holding a golden ball. Dragon, dragon of the dragon. What does a guy like the chairman need this for? It, what do you mean? Everyone needs a computer. What? He probably just uses it for porn. No, it's probably for business. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. Yeah, Alba's right. Chairman's desk. Alright, are you done, like, looking at everything in the office now? A Shinto shrine. Alright, I think that's everything, right? Oh, phone. Telephone on the desk. Keyboard. Do you have any galaxy chocolate left? I do have some galaxy chocolate left. I have, I think, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have ten squares left. I also have three Terry chocolate oranges. I got four for Christmas. I have eaten one. The man sitting on the chairman's seat is named Mama. What? The chairman is right in front of you. What? He's, he's sitting in a chair. I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. Oh. That can't be right. Why not? The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Huh. You believe that shit? You aren't the chairman. Decoy chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? <laughs> Research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. Wait, why does he get a model then? He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. Okay, he's not dead for sure. All right, where is this going? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Okay, what the fuck? Oh wait, six, six years, years ago. ago? That's when I lost my memory. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is all connected. That's why they call it a web, because you can never get out. All right. Does does he have a does he have a, a a a character sheet? Please. Mama has a character sheet. Name: Ozomu Oishi. Sex: Gender neutral. Age: 36. Birthday: October 11. Mama: Profession: Tending bar. Selling information. Likes loincloths. Switching. I would have written that as being a switch, not switching, but okay. Making them touch. <laughs> Dislikes, hate crimes, customers who throw up in the bar. Hobbies, polishing bonito, watching videos. Skills, has the uncanny ability to detect virginity. <laughs> Overview, Mama owns the bar Marble in Golden Yokocho in Shin. Juku, Date and Okira are regulars there and she knows them well. She is also an information broker in the criminal underworld. Alright. No one else gets one then? Okay, who are these two down here? Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme, and I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Oh, it wasn't me. A lot of Yakuza gangs. about that, cop. Yeah. Is this a scar or hair or a shadow? I think it's a scar, right? I told you, I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Date, a minute, please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. Pick it up and hit him. What about it? It is peculiar. What? 
thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Wait, there's someone else here! Dear God. We deal with a moment later. We should focus on something else. Wait, what's going on? You okay, dog? Wait, what? Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. How long would this stay warm for if someone was sitting there? Or is there something hiding underneath it? Maybe it's like a, like a, I don't know, a, 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 a water bottle. And it's just, you know, someone has a sore ass. Sore ass? One of the cushions is still warm. Yoshi! Yoshi! You're okay, buddy. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> One of the cigarette butts. The tip is reddish. Hey, Iva, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I see. K line. Cigarette brand is Klein. Klein. What kind of dog do you have? We have three dogs. Uh, the old lady dog, which is Lily's dog, is an Australian Shepherd. She's 14 or 15 now. And I have two dogs down here with me. Uh, Yellow Lab, which is Yoshi, and a Husky German Shepherd mix, which is which is Gatsby. And they are two and a half. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Hmm. Okay, where's this going? I don't understand. Someone was sitting here smoking a cigarette and now they're gone and it's still somehow warm? Okay. What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. Oh, right. I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, done. Okay, cool. Not All possible. Right. What do you mean? When I came in. You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Okay, one of them was just sitting there before and they just moved back to their, they took a smoke break on the couch and they moved back to the chair right before you walked in. It's still warm now, so it was still warm for a little bit longer. This is dumb. This is dumb. I don't like this. It's dumb. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa. Oh, damn, you got us. And neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way he here. He looks like a pumpkin. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Uh-oh. Which means, whoever it is... They're under the desk! They're still in this office somewhere. They're still here! They're under here! They're in the walls! Look up! Look up! Behind here? Oh, wait, you look really happy. Oh. Let's leave. Let's leave. I want to leave. I'm I want to go. Back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. Why didn't we just do the x-ray first? My god, it's... Uh... Just as I thought. <laughs> this must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. Evolver? I should shoot him. Why? Wait! What? Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. Okay, so... We're the killer? We were a killer? 
We used to kill people. And now we're getting drugs to, to suppress our killing stuff in urges. We, what, what, the too many, too many jokes now. I cannot approve the use of a revolver in this situation. Okay, I don't care. I'm, Damn I'm it. the one who's in charge. Uh oh. Gonna lose the other eye. Sinking time. It's the moment. Dante, a porno mag at your feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, where? Okay, I have to use the keyboard. No! No! Un the certain conditions are horny? No! Hey, did you just shoot at me? <laughs> what? Hey, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Not the Dragon Ball. Do do. Date, load a volver with explosive rounds. Also, there's another porno mag at your the feet. Dragon's gold ball on the right. Ember, balls. What? The balls. Oh, that. Why? Just do it. It costs ten thousand dollars to fire this gun. For 12 seconds. Okay, is this it? Just hold it on there? Control, okay. Did I have to hold it on there until control showed up or could I have just press control? <gasps> oh no! Yeah, that, that worked. <laughs> what? Iba, you saved me. The secret Everything lives of Yakuza wives, the Shima unlocked. So, where's this porno mag? <laughs> you idiot. There is no adult magazine. <laughs> However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. No! Fucking way! No fucking way! Really? Under certain conditions? <laughs> Man, like, he, like, sex goes on for a long time for Date. Holy crap! <laughs> what the? I simply took advantage of that behavior. All right. What the hell? You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? How did we get behind him like that? Shit. Hey, come Mosin? I see you. Show your face. I know you. Who the hell are you? Your ass is like, like red hot. I have the hottest ass in the whole city. Couches stay warm for days. Behold the power. That's... Sejima, so, congressman. So? What is this guy doing here? LARPing? Alright, time to look around again. 
Do 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 There are files lined up on the shelf. If you accidentally entered, yeah, we, we did that already. Right. Even the birds are just quite the motto. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm not looking at everything again. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, you're. Are we really tall or are you really short? <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier when I said I didn't know her. No. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoka was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. How many times does, does Date have to get in trouble and she says there's a porno mag at your feet trying to save him before he's like, meh. She's she's the AI I that cried porno mag. There's no porno. She's got me three times with no way. I'm just going to take the bullet. I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Whoa. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something. You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way, he paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. Mandatory. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel, they'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. You gonna play a sequel to this game too? I heard it sucks, so yep. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? He didn't though, he's still Nothing alive. At all. This model is way too much work. About it. Absolutely not dead. Rohan was my older brother. Oh really? He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he uh he got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. And we just said that he killed himself. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You want to know more? Hire a private eye. Or you have a private eye. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. You don't have to repeat it. To your coffee. Go uh, coffee. Coffee, thank you. So, I went to work, then went home. Okay. So, you have no alibi. So, no, I always have my bodyguards near me. Oh, if not you right want now. To, you can ask them. Okay, where are they right now? Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. You can't trust that. Hey, I have a look. A fly. It is clear. I did it already, Chatter. I did it already. There was nothing new. Lamayo got him. The president of Lemnusgate? We aren't friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? She's not dead, by the way. Way too much work we went into this model. We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. 
We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. So Sejima, a member of Congress. I see him so often on TV. Feels like I met him before. Really? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business Smile. nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Actually, that's all I was imagining. Strictly, strictly business? business? Yeah. A congressman meeting with Yakuza? Yeah, business. How are yeah. you going to spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. I don't care about that. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Okay. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. This is a waste of time. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Like, actually a waste of time, right? At the moment, Ota presents our best opportunity for finding leads. Should we go to Lemniscate? Yeah, let's go. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? No. <laughs> I'm Date. Let's go, Iba. Roger. No, I'm Date. An old-fashioned Gatling gun. How are you hiding that? With Alex's butt? Like, what the hell? Where was that? Alright. Do 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 do. Are we gonna go get Mizuki now? Time to see the car driving animation. Yeah! Here we go! This is all really suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree. But I am I not agree, sure classmate. it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. You're kind of a Cyclops. We need to do further investigation. Hey, Alba. Okay, chat, am I, like, getting used to anime bullshit, or is this better than most of the anime bullshit games that we've played on stream before? Because, like, this is this is kind of wacky, but in terms of, like, I don't know, story, character, relation, integrity, this is, like, definitely in the same tier as Persona 5 for how it's how it's put together, you know? Like, I, I think it's, I think it's pretty good so far. Like, I feel like it knows what it's doing, and it's not forcing a lot of bullshit. It's forcing some bullshit, but yeah. I don't know. I like- I like most of the characters. There's a lot of characters in- in, um, in Danganronpa, in Zero- Nah, less Zero Escape. Definitely the later Zero Escape games, I think. But there were some characters, whenever they showed up on the screen, I was just like, Oh my fucking god, here we go. And in- in this game so far, like, it's just Oda. Like, Iris is even- has even grown on me slightly a little bit, because it seems like she has somewhat- somewhat of an interesting backstory. She's still kind of annoying. Let's see if she gets better. But, um, like- uh, like, Oda's really the only, the only, like, glaring red one where I'm like, no thank you. Iris is borderline. Everyone else is, uh, is, is, uh, is pretty good. You hated Himiko for no reason to be for- What are you talking about? Y I had several reasons to hate Himiko. She was so annoying. Yeah? It's my magic. I know this is a murder investigation, and I could tell you how I set up that trick, but... No, it was real magic. If we don't get this right, everyone could die. It's more important to protect my magic that I'm bad at. A girl in the passenger seat. A girl in the passenger seat. A girl in the passenger seat. Who are you? Roar like a lion. Scream like a little girl. Warn carefully. Ah! Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? So shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? Mizuki? 
It's me. Boss? Date, seriously. Then, are you mom? Idiot. They must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Okay, you know, I take it back. Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. <laughs> the, way, the way that Date interacts with Iva is kind of like how I interact with Lily with how much I just fuck with her all day. I got the other she's learning French, right? So the like the other day I was, I was like uh I was like Lily, who who is who's who's Vu? And she's like, What? And I'm like Lily, who who is who is Vu? I keep hearing about Vu all the time. And and she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like Vu, that that famous French composer or performer, you know? And she's like, I have never heard of Vu before. And I'm like Okay, but why are why are French people always talking about Vu? You know, like I, I all the time I keep everywhere I go, French people always ask me and tell me to see Vu play. So, <laughs> and she just like she she laughed, but she was really mad. <laughs> And then I said, and then I said to her, I said to her, why do, why do, why do French people get drunk so easily? And she's like, now she's expecting it. And she said, she just looks at me and goes, all right, why do French people get drunk so easily? And I said, well, when they, when they, when they put their drinks out, they, they pour favor. And, she, and I start laughing and she's laughing and she says, you idiot, that's Spanish. <laughs> So then I stopped laughing and I said to her, All right, Lily, why do Spanish people get drunk so easily? <laughs> I just thought I would reject myself. You seem lonely. You <laughs> I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. That's true, yep. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. I am your eyeball. You do realize I do that all the time, right? What is this like a, a graphical glitch here or what? Is it because of uh because of the eye thing going on? About your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? You remember you don't that? You usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. It's the, Why are you doing this now? It's the lamppost shadows? Oh, that doesn't look like it goes right. Moving too fast? Like, it looks... Oh, yeah, that is what it is, though. Yeah, it matches. Okay. I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. We've been through this. If you could do that, change it. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. I'm going to have to get used to this look. I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. I already am. I just wanted to change my look a little. Totally a cyclops. Think of it as a haircut. Pretty drastic haircut. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious. No. But there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no established motive. The victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling, and their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. 
but it doesn't feel right. I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories, but would you like to hear them regardless? I would, yes. Please. Mr. Sajima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. How far away are these buildings? But 20 years ago, so Sajima lived elsewhere. In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sajima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. The Sajima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Oh, so buy it all up and then fix it. Interesting. Hmm. What are your thoughts? It's the empty lot all over again. Is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident... That's not sus at all. Nope. The Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like you got anything out of it. That would be true. But there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed... Okay. Uh, we lost we our eye? Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Okay. There's something that you need to hear. All right, what is what that? What is it? Yep. We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. Uh-oh. Prisoner? Fuchu. I think you should give it a listen. It was me. I'll do it again. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. Okay. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. How do you we know? kill again, you know. And you'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. In my cell suit. We were roommates. To be a we were cellmates. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Renju was killed. <gasps> In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. No, he has That's a tunnel out of his prison. Contact you. Good idea. Thanks, detective. He tunnels out and kills them and then goes back in, and he's using this as a way to get himself out of prison legally. He escapes illegally, kills someone, sets up a mystery that only he can solve in, re in, in response for him being able to get out of prison legally. It's the perfect crime. Good luck. And he'd be like, oh, let me give you the information about who it was. there's anything to this? It was me, but I did it illegally, so it's inadmissible in court. Oh, damn, he's got us. And you already granted me I get out of prison jail for free, free card so I can get out of here. God damn it. This guy's good. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Date. What's wrong? 
You look like you have a lot on your mind. Look to the left. Yeah. I just found out online. Look to the left. Corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki saw her own mom. And I just... I just left her. But I didn't know. He I didn't knew know. her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. Or else what? I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Save as soon as you can? Alright, I can save it. Hold on. I can do that. I can save it. I can totally save it. I'm an expert at saving. <gasps> Let's get you out of the frame. Alright. Good time for a break. I'll be back in five minutes. Go brush your teeth. Go pee. I'll be back in five.
All right, I'm back. That's the reception desk. Gonna have some galaxy chocolate. Pointing Joe is from uh, Jelly Chan. Cryptic. Many names. Wait, it's gone, right? Thank you for letting me use it. Hey, Oda. That one is called Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. But, despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. Okay, where's, where's your menu? You, if you don't mind me asking. I turned 36 this year. You're kidding. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm down. Uh, let, let, let's go. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't see what happened after that. What did he say? Hey, girl with the big tit. <laughs> um, excuse me. What? Shit! I said it to her face. I want to run away and never look back. Nicole, your tits is sitting behind the counter. Oh, what, what, did I, what did I miss? Yeah, so I decided to call her. Not to her face, of course. Oh, okay, alright. Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? Oh yeah, for sure. I kind of like that. Oh yeah, I knew you would. And I kind of like you. Ooh! Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. Okay, what is it? I'm a reptilian. Okay. Is that going to be a problem? No, nope, it's That's fine. A reptilian. I'm fine with that. Is that like a star sign? A reptilian humanoid alien. Okay, yeah. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Okay, I'm, I'm still in. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Absolutely not. Oh, too bad. Can you shapeshift into anything? Because this, I, I see this as an absolute win, actually. The company's logo. Lemon skate. Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. He doesn't know. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What? What kind of novels are you writing, kid? Sexy novels. A potted plant. Date, look. A little stink bug. Yay. A stink bug. Aiba has the tendency to get excited about bugs. Her reaction speed is increased by 3.6 times right now. Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. Then I ate some ramen at Juro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. Who, like, goes out of their way to browse threads? That's what you do when there's, like, nothing else to do and you want to kill some time. What are you, what are you doing? 
Look at the reflection there. It's Oda. Oh, Tarin. Uh, I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. Gross. This is his current body temperature. Ugh. That's what I thought. Is that a gun? Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? I'll tell her. Huh? <gasps> Wait, it's <gasps> no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. Oh, that's room to wear. Who is that? Rune Doyer's video is playing. That looks familiar. Why does that look familiar? A door. How to get rich with cryptocurrency. I'll definitely be taking that one. Oh man, that aged well. Lots of magazines in that rack. It's a monitor, nothing's on it. One more bowl, please. That would be Soba. Soba King? That's just a high stool. What about high school? I said stool. What about poop? A high table. Alright, I think we're done. Alright. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket. Oh, sorry, and I on. saw Renju come going. out of the building. Was he alone? What the fuck, Oda? Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. Um. Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. But Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Hmm. Idols don't kill people. Yeah, they're too busy you being need to idle. stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. It's not even a real name. Hey, receptionist. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And she cured it. And I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Oof. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. Because I have burner accounts like where I pretend. Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people some of the most horrific leaders in political history have inspired? <sighs> okay, Oda. But do you suspect her? Yes. I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But Do it for Iris. For Birger. Like, who's Iris? Siggy. 
Fido. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. What did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? How did you get here? Date. What? Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. If you mm -hmm. want to live. Okay. Uh, honestly, chat, I need to see her next to some different characters, but I, right now I don't know. Is it that she looks different than every single other character's art style, or is it just Oda that looks different from every single other character's art style? She, like, she stands out to me so much. Is there something different with the outline of her hair compared to other characters that's making me see it? Like, she just looks different to me, even, like, between Date and the boss. Oda's definitely different, though. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? Uh-oh. You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. Uh-oh. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. It's her clothing? Yeah, maybe it's her clothing. Hold on, let me look around. This is the camera used to record the interrogation. Even though we have a camera right here. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. Ooh. It is later saved permanently on our servers. You can remotely control it as well. Camera used to interrogation. The lens is facing Iris. Pipes. Oh man, where's Mizuki? There are pipes on the walls of the room. If only she was here. A security camera. This interrogation room has two surveillance cameras. This is one of them. The other is installed near the doorway. Oh, does um does the receptionist have a have a, a bio? <gasps> oh man! Holy crap! Alright, so so Sajima, sex male, age 60, birthday December 7th, profession, congressman, likes, authority, fame, assets. Oh man. Dislikes anything that threatens the above. Hobbies, Mahjong, Golf, Nishiki Carp Breeding, nice. Skills, Grasping People's Weaknesses, Applying Pressure and Making Them Obey. What a nice guy. Overview, So is a member of the post-war generation. He grew up poor, which gave him two things, his motivation for seeking power and wealth and his, vi and wealth and his vindictiveness toward the upper class. All right, MoMA. Sex male, age 48, September 28th, profession, Kumakura boss, likes humanity and justice, chivalry, Gandhi, pandas and women. <laughs> Did Momo write that? <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean? Dislikes old fashioned and irrational traditions, but yet you like chivalry? What? <laughs> What? Hobbies, watching, dance, collecting art, hot springs, vacations, skills, shooting, magic tricks, beatboxing. Oh yeah, he did have the beatboxing thing. Overview, Momo became the leader of the Kumakura Yakuza gang after his predecessor stepped down several years ago. In the past, the Kumakuras were known for being ruthless and violent, but Momo hopes to make the group more peaceful and business minded. Rohan. Oh yeah, to totally dead by the way. Rohan Kumakura, uh, sex male, age 53, deceased, birthday January 18. Profession, previous Kumakura boss, likes guns, drugs, money, women, and power, right? He's his brother, all right? They both like women, all right? They have something in common. Dislikes, betrayal, <laughs> <laughs> Rival gangs, cops, hobbies, politics, investment, fraud, <laughs> organ trading, and land speculation. Like, you want shiny organs, or is it like the instrument? Skills, torture. Overview, Rohan used to be the leader of the Kumakura gang. One year ago, he committed suicide by jumping off the roof of a building. He was known for his horrific torture technique of peeling his victim's skin from toe to thigh. But what actually happened was, he he actually didn't, he didn't die. He just fell, 
and like his eye popped out and then he went through in in crazy facial reconstruction surgery basically gave him a whole new body and then they told him he was 24 years old and he turned into date 89 name unknown early 40s unknown 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 a mysterious inmate currently serving a life sentence at fuchu prison for murder known only as number 89 all right you could yakuza a and b get their own shit chinpei wagai age 24 really <laughs> profession kumakura gang member likes <laughs> Likes ass. <laughs> or likes ass. Erotic novels about ass and his boss because of his boss is a nice ass. Dislikes police. His big brother. Animal cruelty. Hobbies: training dogs. Skills: won a dog training contest. That's not a skill. That's an accomplishment. What? The, is this not a skill? Look. Overview. He is the lowest ranking member of the Kumakuras. There are three people in this organization. He once had dreams of pursuing the top spot in the gang, but has since decided that he would rather focus on training his favorite dog. Yakuza B. Is there a Yakuza C? This is the best part of the game. Name Dokuta Yogano. Sex male, age 42, birthday March 14. Profession. Kumakura gang member likes dominatrixes. <laughs> you should meet the boss. Dislikes domestic violence. What? Hobbies dissec dissection. Skills suturing. If he sees something dissected, he knows how to, like, you know, reverse it real quick. Overview. Perhaps due to the way he looks, he is often mistaken for a low-ranking member, even though he is toward the top. He typically does office work. He has recently fallen in love and has lost a lot of weight. <laughs> Receptionist. Ritsuku Enshu. Sex female, age 36. Birthday, June 22. Reception Profession. Lemon, lemon skate receptionist likes yellow spotted river turtles dislikes men. <laughs> this is amazing men that act like ballers but are really scrubs so specific holy shit Hobbies, gambling, gambling, partying, skills, anti-aging techniques. Over you, she is Lemon Skate's receptionist, and she likes men that are real bros and can vibe with them from the jump. Lately, her shoulders have been stiffening up on her, though. <laughs> How the fuck is that her overview? Recently in the life of the receptionist. Who fucking wrote <laughs> that act like ballers but are really scrubs? What about men that act like scrubs but are really ballers? What about that? What about that? Check the appendix. I think we'll check the appendix when we have more and we'll go through a lot of them all at once because it's like a lot of these were kind of kind of meh. Oh, man. A two-way mirror. There's a small room on the other side of the mirror, but you can't see it from here. The room is reflected in the mirror. I like mirrors in games. I don't know why. I always do. A desk in the middle of the room. Okay, that's it. All right. Iris looks nervous. It's understandable, of course, after suddenly being taken to a place like this. She's anxious, but I can't read exactly what she's thinking. In any case, I don't think she's acting. Iris is sitting in front of me. Iris is sitting in front of me. Is Oda's story true? Used to work in Sunfish Pocket, right? When did you find out Renju was killed? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. 
Yeah, en I enough guess. to string someone up. Yeah. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? When did you find out Renju was killed? Renju's dead? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? Yeah, why would you just implicate I yourself like that? I had a podcast to record this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. Yeah, gotta hustle. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Yeah, I, I agree with her. This is this is completely, uh, completely uh, reasonable. Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket, ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. Okay. What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. MC. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. I don't know what that is. What's MCing? MCing. The action of performing as an MC. Oh, thanks. Okay, that clears that up. A three hour mix of DJing and MCing. Okay. So it's just it's just MC and they're saying it pronounce they're typing out how it's spelled. Okay. What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Okira. At 6 15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. I could MC for sure. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Oh, she's coached. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. Or that's true. She just knows to be specific with cops. What were you doing from seven to nine last night? Uh, her 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 explanation is kind of vague. She has no exact times. I feel like she's not really remembering things properly. Hmm, that's true. Yeah, that's pretty suspicious. Let's push her. Like, like people are so fallible when it comes to this shit. Didn't they do a study about about something like? Maybe it wasn't a study. Maybe it was it was linked to a different study about how um, it, it's pretty dangerous when it comes to people to police detectives and stuff when they are interrogating someone that they will often just decide whether they're innocent or guilty and then will then try to prove it afterwards and nothing will be able to convince them otherwise and like no matter what they go through and what they're presented with it, it's always like i bring it back to my hunch and my hunch is 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 the uh is king above all other things you know what i mean that sort of thing um i think we just saw that like happen live talking to cops that's why you shouldn't that's why you shouldn't talk to cops like the reason why you shouldn't talk to cops is because they want to you know <laughs> nail whoever they can for whatever like it's like the goal and is not really to catch the right criminal it's just to catch a criminal i'm sure there are some that uh that that matters a lot to them but uh it's more important to look like you're doing a good, good job than actually doing the good job and if they're really like keen on a trail and they want to uh and they're suspicious like you could say something that arouses their suspicion and they get into that mode where they're like oh yeah i, th I think you're guilty and then we're you're in that place that i just described where they're like anything that you say is going to fit and make them make it the more you more suspicious to them i think 
What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. I was at the whole at home the whole time. You're sure. So I'm reading chat, so I'm a little distracted. Yes. Iba, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. Ooh. She isn't lying. Okay, th this is not infallible. Not though. necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. Oh, she's been trained. Oh, with that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. I'm kind of over the hate all cops trend. This isn't about hating cops. Um, this is about protecting yourself and like, oh man. Okay, so we were speaking about this in Jads, uh, I think last week about how school doesn't really prepare you for a lot of things and life skills that you need to have. And like we like we, we touched on this a little bit on stream when we were playing Life is Strange. It's like, hey, like, do you have a plunger? Do you have a fire extinguisher? Like. Uh, like these things that you should have like you really should have them like no joke like how often like should you be changing your clothes how often should like personal hygiene how important fitness is that sort of thing like school really drops the ball on a lot of things and and something that that school also drops the ball on and some people would say it's on purpose so you can get blindsided by this thing is like dealing with people of authority and especially when it comes to dealing with police officers like you're you're taught growing up that you know you could always trust the police you can always go to police if you need help and in some cases that's absolutely true especially if you're a child but when you become an adult and things get a lot more complex and you're ever in a position where you might appear guilty to a police officer when you didn't do anything it, it is in your best interest absolutely 100% to not say a single fucking word because you have nothing to gain and that's a life skill that you that you don't really learn uh, in school like you have to just like just learn that from people or or like like learn it from like youtube there was like a famous uh video that's passed around like i think like like nine ten years ago or something like that um like there's like, literally no reason to do it similarly like learning how to talk with with lawyers and learning how to talk with doctors and accountants and all this other thing these these are life skills and trying to find find a good one like there's a high chance that a lot of people in chat right now actually have a pretty piss poor doctor and they're just going along with the doctor that they were given and they have no idea how to judge the skill of their doctor and that's really hard to do how can you how can you go in and see like your doctor i think i think you're actually bad at your job like you don't you didn't go to med school how can you judge this sort of thing and yet it's one of the most important things to have as a good doctor and I think you can really learn this uh, if you ever try to find a therapist because there are a lot of bad therapists out there and that's easier to judge because therapy is almost more of an art than a science. It is definitely not fully an art, but it's more more an art than a science than, than like medical practitioners are, I think. Um, and because of that, it's a lot more easy to, key, to hone in on, oh, this person's actually full of shit. Um, so it's just like, yeah, the, you, have to, uh, you have to learn how to, how to get through this in your life. Sure, but I cannot believe that co that cop believe cops are just have to fuck with you and pin whatever they can on you to do their job. Okay, so some are going to be like that for sure, but l let me just find that and then I'll move on. Okay, so what we just said about like a police officer wants to wants to like do their job, right? So let's say that you are involved in something bad that happens and you talk to the cop and you say something and you're a little nervous or you don't realize you just said something and the cop doesn't isn't trying to pin shit on you just to close a case you say something that sets off in their head oh i think this guy's guilty and the cop legitimately thinks that you're guilty like like legit like you just you just offered information up for whatever reason right and you just like Shit, now that cop is clocked on and is like, oh shit, I think this guy's guilty. And now now his mind will not let this go. Like, just like, boom, I'm not letting this go. I have a hunch. My st my gut is telling me this guy's guilty. This guy's guilty. This guy's guilty. And the more, more he pressures on you, the more nervous you get, the more anxious you get, the more guilty you look. So it's just like, you're protecting yourself not just from asshole cops but you're protecting yourself from cops that like are are human they're human they're gonna do things that are that are wrong they're gonna make mistakes and the problem is is that the, the mistakes that they can make can really fuck you up man so like you need to protect yourself just just don't talk to them there's just literally no nothing good can come of it like nothing at all any, if you're in a serious situation, like if you, I don't know how you should handle it if it's in a more casual situation or something like that. Obviously you have to talk to a, a cop if you get pulled over, but I don't drive. So I don't know what, what it's like in those kind of situations, but, but yeah, that's what you should do. If they really need to talk to you, then, then 
get a lawyer and talk with a lawyer and the lawyer can translate the kind of thing to you like talking to a police officer in your head in in, in, in a serious situation should be kind of like signing a very very serious contract if if the contract is you're looking at it and it's full of legalese you should never sign that thing because you have no idea what the fuck it means you can't even translate it and that's another problem with society as well it's like going through contracts and you're like i can't even understand this i'm signing it this is binding i don't even understand half the words in here like someone has to translate it for me and it should be like that you should always consult with someone before you go through it anyway that, that's that's my fucking speech let's keep going if iris's story is true she couldn't have done it there is another possibility even if iris was at home she could have killed renju you mean i'll ask again you are sure you were at home around 8 p.m yesterday Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. Uh -oh. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Was she on a date? Yeah. Where was she? She wasn't on me. I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Ooh. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Maybe she hurt her arm springing up uh, Shoko onto the carousel. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Maybe she's dead too now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Being murdered. Am I a suspect? No. It's not like that. No. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? Are we pacing? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Oh, she's got a point. <laughs> a girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, he was drugged first. No, it's still possible. Yeah. You see. Ooh, we get to, uh, oh, this is cool. Okay, tab, show. Okay, I want to do the one that I'm going to pick. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Okay, so tab. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Actually, could it? Ingenuity. How would you do that? You put. I have to put them on like a high place and then drop them. Oil drum. Okay. What What is look gonna do? Look is is gonna review it, right? Renju's estimated TMT okay, there we go. is yesterday around 8 p.m. Numerous hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face indicate strangulation. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. I kind of like that we're just into this without much in the way of ceremony. Just all of a sudden we're interrogating. The autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle relaxation upon death. However, no trace of this was found on the corpse or at the scene. This so, means that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere and moved to where he was found. So they they changed his they changed his they changed his pants and his underwear and and pulled them over to the bidet and cleaned them up. Like what? Renju's corpse Why was would you do in that? the maid cafe sunfish pocket, hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. 
He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. Okay, so the kegs there could be lifted. I, I don't understand how I'm how I'm making that connection though. Renju weighs approximately 160 pounds. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. Sunfish Pocket is located on the second floor. According to the records, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, the elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. The total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 310 pounds. I know this watch. It's Renju's favorite. I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. That means... He was in the oil drum. The oil drum inside Sunfish Pocket. The type that has a lid you can open with about a 200 liter capacity. Empty, it weighs approximately 44 pounds. He was rolled in. Actually, that, were there scrapes on the ground there? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what it wants from me here. Like, I, I feel like it's the oil drum or it's the, um, it's the, uh, the fucking, the counterweight with the beer. I guess it has to be that. So discovery of Renji's body, because that was the only one that was there. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, huh. I guess that would make it possible. But... But, there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Oil drum. Hey! Oil drum. I know. Oil I drum. Know. Oil drum. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160 pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? How much does the oil drum weigh? Didn't she say how much? Oh, wait, hold on. She said how much she weighed when we gave her a piggyback. How much does the oil drum weigh? Does, did it say? 44 pounds. So 44 pounds plus 158. And what was her weight? It was 310. Oh man, she was there. That It, it was her. Oh shit! Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. He always carried up his hey, ass. Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum? 
which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. You I also could have. License. You also could have. Oh, that, that's even better. You probably rode on it. You probably like were like standing on it, running on the old drum. It's like you passing off as one of your bits as like an internet streamer idol. Look at my skills. You run really fast. It's right here. It's right here. I have. I have you. Dead to rights. Runs extremely fast. On top of the oil barrel, rolling it down the street. Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me. Just be quiet. Um. Are you talking who to, bud? are you talking to? Yeah. And then Date slaps the table. Oh. What? Anyway. What? Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? W where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Okay, uh, so Renji's weight plus oil drum plus elevator record. Okay, so elevator record. That's true, but I need two more pieces of evidence. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? Interrogation on the implicate floor? Iris. Achievement on That's locked. right. Okay. So, I checked the elevator. Uh oh, records. are we going to have to more back? Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Together. Subtracting that from 310. This doesn't look good. Why are you. Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Yeah. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs. Why would they have done that? To throw us off the trail. Okay, yeah, okay. However. <laughs> I knew that you were going to look at the elevator that record and that. see that there was an extra 105 pounds on there. And I knew that the Don't Iris weighed 105 pounds. Why not? There's a porn Just mag. Put. Keep your eyes on the wall. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. Okay. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. All right. Look at this. We work here, Alba. Alba! She's fuzzy. Okay. It's me. I'm so handsome. Is it me? Who is this handsome male model? Oh, just me. I can see myself. Boss is standing in the corner. That's boss in the corner. We didn't take her phone away from her? Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Date. No. Sync with her. 
Sync with her. Now. Do it hard. I'm gonna watch. Sync. Okay, what? We just dosed her? This can't be legal. How about it, Date? Think you can do it? How is this admissible? Not a Get it started. The time limit is six minutes. So before time is up. I know. Then let's begin. As per my motto, ahem, get abused upon lol lamayo. Thank you, Chatter. Very cool. What is this place? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? What do you think about the pacing game? It's all right. Somnium scan. Activate. Somnium scan. Burning motherboard! Mental lock. Uh oh. I've upgraded the machine. You have seven minutes now because you were so good last time. Okay, this is weird. Four mental locks? A mysterious room, videos, and a strange device. You may be able to find the truth. Sinking in the in the something? Oh no, it's six minutes again. Look at blood, watch the murder. Okay, is is this one another? Uh oh. Where's the blood? Doors? A double door. Tackle. Open. Tackle. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Stop that. You're not helping. Okay, we got a half here, though. Can I do it again? A double door. Double door. I get a 1-6 from this one. This is, like, this is five seconds for a 1-6. It's worth it. It's worth it. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. I'm just farming power-ups at this point. Jo what do you mean? This is this is the good play. Five seconds for a one six when something's a minute later. That's like like goddamn. I'm I'm buying jam bread. This is the best thing I can possibly do. A CRT TV. Hit. Oh, look at the time save. What what's the times two mean? What does that mean? I don't know what this means. What does this mean? Hit. Spin the dial. I don't know. I don't know what this means. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my 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 one six on on hit. Fixing it by hitting it is an old fashioned approach. Well, this is an old fashioned object, so. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. What was that just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. Who knew? Oh, that was a, a choice. Okay. Hit the mouse. Mental lock two. You picked up a timey that has a negative effect. Negative timeys can multiply time or force you to use them. If you pick one up, be careful. So this this multiplies the time by two? 
Okay, well, I know what I'm doing. A double door. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. Ha ha ha! Fuck your negative timey. Fuck your negative timey. All right, hit the mouse. Me mirror gun medicine shelf. What about the mirror? A full body mirror. Punch, look, talk. We get a one out of four for doing that. We get a free one. Okay, pun punch the mirror. Well, you know what? We've been punching before. Are you sure I can break this mirror? Punch, hit and punch. No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? What is it going to do being Just a pervert? Punch it, and I'm not a pervert. You are, though. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Okay, we do a little trial and error. Oh, look, the mirror's right there. Okay, I'm guess blow blow it up. What do you mean blow it up? Blow blow what up? Let's take the gun. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Shoot, remove. Okay, this gives us a negative timey. So that way, look down the barrel. Okay, there's so many there are so many meme choices I want to do, but I also want to be able to finish the puzzle. <laughs> All right, I'm removing. It is fixed with a vice and cannot move. Can you loosen it? Impossible. Is there some kind of meaning to it? Oh, what the fuck? Five minutes left, Dante. A revolver. A double door. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. I see many objects in the room. What can melt the thing with the gun? Investigate the bottle. Smell. Investigate. We get a one out of six for that one. I'm doing that one. Investigate the bottle. Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! What? The explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. We, we did it. This is a dangerous dream, but we must continue. Hey! Yeah! This cannot continue. This cannot continue. Bam, ba, 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 ba. Blow up a frog. All right. We got a one out of six for that, too. Operating table, mirror, gun, reference book, TV. All right, let's go to the TV. An analog TV. Hit. Oh, hit it. Yep. Let's hit it for one out of six on the hit. Five seconds. No, I'm 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 eating the time. Understood. <laughs> what was that? It wouldn't be that fair was... to all the TVs that we hit before. I nearly pissed my pants. <laughs> what? An analog T. All right, I guess we're turning the dial. That's gonna. This is gonna give us a one four. All right, I'm doing it. Nothing is happening. What am I supposed to do then? An analog. Investigate one out of two. A child's drawing. This is a butterfly. Right. I hope this somnium isn't from when she was a child. Oh, we do nothing. Okay, cool. All right, what's this reference book? It appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures. Throw. <laughs> Fuck it. Go fly. It disappeared. Like in quantum mechanics. When you touch a wall, your hand has an almost impossibly small chance of going through. 
In this Somnium, it appears such phenomena will happen regularly. Is Iris familiar with quantum mechanics? I or is it just a dream? So. Oh, it's back! Holy crap! Spooky. A butterfly reference. Read. This is a reference book of butterflies and moths. Is it Iris's? Unknown. There is no name written on it. Cool. A butterfly rep. Rip. That will be difficult with it being this thick. Thick. <gasps> that makes sense, actually. The butterfly effect. I suppose Boom. that is somewhat accurate. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. Tear and stab it. Tear and stab what? Oh, where's the hidden object we're supposed to get? Tear and stab. Gas canister. A common gas canister. Kick open the valve. Smell. All right, open the valve for sure, right? One six, one six, one six. Yeah, one six. It's rusted shut. I cannot open it. Shit. If you can't, then... It is meant to be closed? I think so. Okay. So we can kick it, or we can smell it. Two minutes, Dante. Hurry. All right. Common we can't open canister. it, so how do we smell it? It's a dream, though. It's a dream. Oh. Oh. Kick or smell. I'm smelling. I'm smelling. The smell tingles, like sweet and sour. A ketone. Perhaps acetone? Acetone? Acet? Some relation to iris? Acetone? I cannot determine that with the evidence we have. More than likely, it is coincidence. Okay, we're running out of time here. Uh-oh, we're running out of time. A common gas... Are we kicking? I think we're kicking. You okay? Uh, it hurts. I might not be able to stand for a while. Don't give up. I believe in you. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. Uh oh. Increase the dosage. All right. Well, that did nothing. La mayo. All right. Locker or TV? Okay. So this TV. Okay. Let's look at the TV. Retro TV. Retro TV. Okay. Hit investigate. Turn the dial. All right. I want to investigate. Um, I want this 10 though, so I'm going to use a 30. Will it take away the 20 or the 30? I want to investigate. Let's see what it takes away. A picture of a bird drawn by a child. All right, where's the bird in the room? Is the locker? Unknown. Okay. Let's look in the locker. Just a locker. Open. Peek. Listen. 1 8. 1 8. Think of the savings. Think of the savings from 1 8. I heard a metallic sound, like gear spinning. Is there something inside? Be careful, Iba, just in case. Roger. No, I'm, da I'm Date. All right, cool. All right, we're, we're really running out of time. Locker. All right, open or peek? Isn't open and peeking the same thing? I think we should open. Why is peek so long? Why is peek so long? Well, I'm peeking. I'm peeking. I saw light reflected for a moment. It is some type of metal. I cannot use your Timmy's more. my weep in chat. I've been using them for every interaction. Understood. Dear God. Just a locker. Four seconds. We have to do it. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. What do you mean? Why was it booby-trapped? 
I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. Shit. The knife that flew out of the locker. Seppuku, push in. Do you wish for me to die? No, I do not. But why must I commit seppuku? In this foreign land, I believed it to be the only course of action. I refuse. Do you wish to speak a haiku in your final breath? Your samurai impression is ridiculous and inaccurate. Stop that! Is this Somnium starting to get to you, Date? I'm my usual self. That's the problem. But in any case, I will not do it. Okay, why did we lose time then? Why did we lose time then? Why did we lose time then? What the fuck? The what? knife that flew out of the locker. Alright. Throw, push in. We have to push it in, right? One, four. Oh, that gets ten. Push in. Time will not be used. Proceed. What do you mean, Timmy will not be used? Oh, I, I misclicked. It cannot be pushed in any further. Okay. All right. All right. The knife that Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. I can do it. I can do it. I believe. I believe. All right. One eight. One eight takes us down to three seconds. We got to do it. Throw. Like this. What? I only threw it lightly. All right, we're done. That was the last one, right? That was the last one, right? An oil drum, television, and torso. What? I think I understand. Uh oh. I'm starting to see the picture. Uh oh. I do not yet understand it. Tore the butterfly and stabbed the bird. Shoot and kill. Uh-oh. How do, how do we retry? Shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. It's right it's right there, right? It's shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. A revolver. Shoot. Are we gonna have to do something else after this? Shoot the gun! I do not see any bullets inside. No! Who cares? Just yeah, just try it. Alright, I'll give it a shot. As I thought, this will not work. We need a bullet. Where do we get the bullet from? Where do we get the bullet from? The operating room table? The, tor the torso! There's a bullet in the torso! A naked torso. Investigate or something. Choke, 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 choke. Ten seconds. Oh, we're done. We're done. It's over. It's over. God damn it. Maybe we. May Hold on. Maybe there's one on the operating table. An operating table? S sleep. Yeah, fuck it. How does it feel? Awful. Am I going to be killed? Modified? I'm restless. I can't take the suspense. Do you think they'll modify you into a grasshopper or a spider? That's not what I'm talking about. Date, we're out of time. Damn, what the hell is this place? Alright, so I need to choke the, the the torso, and then a bullet falls out. Then we use the bullet to fire at the uh, at the at the TV, right? That's got to be it. All right, retry. Start start sync from the beginning. Start sync from checkpoint. I think I'd rather like. Okay, hold on. Can we lock time eighteen seconds? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Re 
All right, here we go. It's it's got to be it's got to be choking it, right? Choke it. It's got to be choking. Talk and give me a bullet. Ah, oh, god damn it. It's got to be choking. I would rather not. I know, but please try. Nothing happened. Shit. No! No! A naked torso. Okay. Talk. Punch punch gives us some time. We gotta go punch. Ah! Nice punch. Thank you. But nothing happened. Oh, shit. You wasted my good punch. And our time. Shit. Alright, retry. Retry. Retry in 18 seconds. Alright, here we go. Yeah, retry. <laughs> All right, I guess we have to talk. All right, here we go. Da 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 da. da. All right, the song. Naked tor okay, talk. Eleven seconds. Is that a serious suggestion? Yes. Anything can happen in Somnium, right? The torso might talk, maybe in a southern accent. Why in a southern accent? Well, I might as well try. Excuse me. You know a gal named Iris? I do. Here's a bullet. What's that, partner? What happened? Did you get something? It said, Why are you talking to a mannequin, you idiot? Are you sure that isn't your commentary? Ain't no talking torsos. Well, shoot. What? That's it? What do you mean? Time's up. Uh, all right, operating table. Operating. All right, investigate. One, one, one seventh. Here we go. The fabric on the surface is frayed. It appears to be in use despite its age. All right. They did surgery here. Is there a bullet in there? Surgery or worse. Where the fuck is the bullet? Date, we're at. Damn. What the? All right. All right, let's think. Let's think. Where is it? All right, let's think. It's, we did the gas. Did they change? Mirror? Oil. Oh, oil drum. An oil drum. Take the lid off. Look inside. Kick. Oh. All right, if I do one six, right, I get it down to 10 seconds. I get a one eight from kick, and that gets me another chance to see. Kick has, uh, take the lid off is what we did in reality. <sighs> Look inside is like not gonna do anything. It's take the lid off or kick. I'm kicking. I'm kicking. I'm kicking. I'm kicking. I don't think I can make it fall Shit. over. Shit. Is it just heavy or is it built into the floor? Oh! Look at the inside. Unknown. Time's up. An oil. Okay, take the lid off. All right, we have seven seconds. Here we go. Take the lid off. Kick it again. It's look Maybe inside. I can. Maybe we don't have to. An oil drum. Oh my god, it's full of genitals. Ugh. What does this mean? <gasps> Bullets? You motherfucking game! You see. motherfucking game! No! Quickly, pick him up! Pick him up! Pick him up! Pick him up! Motherfucker! What the hell is this place? <sighs> you have to restart from the whole thing now? Alright, here we go. A 
see. Shit, what do I do next? Medicine. The casino medicine. I see. Investigate the bottle. This is kind of cool, actually. I like this. Now I know you can just like like restart and, and fuck around. I like this. All right, mental. It was like we look we look at the reference book. Five minutes left, Dante. It appears. We rip. I suppose. Listen, open. Push in, seppuku, throw. Look down the barrel to find the bullets. Thanks, Merrick. we found earlier this could work I'll try shooting it Damn, that was so easy. First try. What's happening right now? Vain disso disassociated persona? I think that's what it said. Shoot the cat. Sunday. Rei. What, what is this? What happened during that Somnium? We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Yeah, it's like you do exactly well, what to do. upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. Okay, so we learned nothing. What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. That means that Iris... She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. Yeah, he had boobs We saw though. that shadow kiss him too. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? The first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. He's been smashed it can include Yu -Oh things style outside of your memory, the receptionist. like TV or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. 
You can't use the word smooch. Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right. Because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's pretty true. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah. What if we're still in Somnium right now? We were silent for a time. And then, I let it one rip. While I was in deep in my thoughts, I heard Peter speak. Date, Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I gave my short reply and headed to the sink room next next door. Iris, quickly come with me. Sleep when I wasn't expecting it. The cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? What? You forced me to sign it. No, I didn't. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? So you don't find Iris having this sort of dream concerning at all, do you? Not really. Like, dream dreams can be strange. I mean, I guess if I'm taking under the context of the game, then I should be concerned because, like, they wouldn't make her have, like, a messed up dream like that without there being a purpose. But, you know, sometimes dreams are just messed up. Is there something you want to ask me? You should be talking to Iris right now. I'll leave Iris to you, Date. Why do you let me do this if, I get, if there's never anything from it? Is this better than Life is Strange? Oh, hell yeah. The sink machine. Subject's chair. Person sitting here is the subject of the sinking. Iris is a bit hazy. Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? Doubt? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. Iris looks a bit hazy. She sounds older than she is, doesn't she? I wonder if that's intentional. Why is this not in the middle of the screen? Is it because of where I clicked on her? Oh, it is. Okay, that's why. I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? Yeah, that's what you consented to. You signed the form, remember? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience Somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. I won't tell anyone about that thing. What is that thing? I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should you ask him. You have fun him. there, Yoshi? Yeah. Iba. Just Ota's phone going so to town, man. Right? Yep. All right. But he definitely sent that Nile message. Mm-hmm. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. With the same number? Yes. Call it. Call it. He dropped it in a puddle. Connected. Hey, it's Kaname Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. Up yours. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number 198. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. I mean, she is a suspect, though. Isn't she not? You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? Okay, if we haven't, so then yeah. So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. Okay, lawyer. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, 
and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. Again, to link back to the conversation earlier briefly, notice how it's framing him as kind of being an asshole for, for knowing his rights and actually exercising them and, and, and doing what's what's best and he has every right to do. And you're just, you're kind of frustrated with him. You're like, oh God, fucking damn it. Because you, your perspective is rooted with, with the with the police. A lot of shows do that too. Um, like a lot, like 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 fun shows like Castle and stuff like that, and and it's like whenever someone is like, oh, they they bring in they bring in their lawyer, like I'm stopping talking now, but I want to talk to my lawyer, and you're just like, oh, god damn it, stonewalled, and the cops and the detectives like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, it's like it's really it's really frustrating, and when someone comes in and they like they 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 bring their lawyer right away, it's like, oh, that's suspicious. Why does he need his lawyer? Like that's that that thing is um kind of insidious for how you're meant to actually deal with it in real life. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. So, what are you going to do? Shit. He sounds berating though. He's annoying. Yeah, it's it's worse. It's better to be wrong than to be annoying. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is be annoying. <laughs> the sink gear. the door to the control room. Past that door is actually another door that will take you to the sixth basement floor of the government building. The sinker's chair. The person sitting here does the sinking. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. You can get away away with a lot in life if people like you. Yeah, that's why like 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 no joke. The one of uh, the the best quality you could possibly have is is to be attractive. Like number two after that is to be charismatic and not to be annoying. Like like that just being attractive alone won't carry you through through all of life. But it's it's probably the biggest possible thing that you can have going for you is is if you're attractive. It's it's I don't I don't know if you really rung it out would it be number one, maybe charisma can trump it I don't know, but it's definitely in the top three I think, like charisma and, and being hot kind of go hand in hand so it's hard to 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 take them apart. Tessa, thank you Ota, it's thanks to you. That's right. <laughs> it's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. <laughs> maybe not, but you better keep your promise. Surely the best one is money, right? Uh, well, money is like a thing, not a trait. So I don't know. Like, I guess you could inherit a bunch of money. Would you rather inherit a bunch of money? Or would you rather rather inherit really, really, really good looks? And it, like, you're and not. That's not a question of like, like, what kind of life do you want? I mean, like, it, we're, the question right now is, what would make your life easier? Probably money would make your life easier in the in that respect. Inheriting like. 10 million dollars but again that's that's a thing instead of like uh, like a character trait or a part of your life like being intelligent being resourceful being charismatic being good looking being scholarly artistic yeah Can I get being lucky? I don't believe in luck. The counter. I make my own luck. There's a menu on the table. Neither of us can figure out what that what that sauce is. Iris is standing next to me. Yeah, there's no fun fluff so far, yeah. Didn't I tell you? Ask Ota about it. Don't you have things to ask Ota? Hurry up. Where's this coming from? 
What's that? Why does that matter? Do you want me to leave? Hmm. Did we did we do some did we pick the path in there that makes her not trust us anymore or something? It 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 go up. It it go up. Oh. Oh 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 no. Oh no. All right, so Oh shit. Okay. A walk. Why is that here? Yeah, why is that there? That's weird. A low table. A kid's chair. Is this yours? Soda looks pretty nervous. A swinging door. We going overtime today? We, we're not even at time today. I don't think we're going overtime today. I'll probably be done in about... At the absolute latest, two hours and twenty minutes, but possibly in an hour and twenty minutes, I'll be done. We'll see. I try to. I, I would like to stream five to six hours. Um, I don't know how many days I'm going to be streaming a week, but it's going to be at least four. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Whoa! Why are, we, why are you slamming anyway. him? Yeah. So streams are back. Yeah, I confirmed yesterday streams are back. Streams are back. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? That thing. Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date, will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. Oh, no, he's going to hit us with the lock. No, don't do yes, it. Yes, the photo. Yeah, the photo. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Alba's going to say, there's a poor mag on the floor. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did. What? <laughs> what the? Now, but why didn't you save us there? Uh, head is pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2:50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Hands on the wheel somehow, though. Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Ah, <sighs> little bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know, but afterward, he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. They could be anywhere because I know from his character sheet that Oda knows how to drive. Who knows where they've gone? He's a driver. He loves drive. Ryan Gosling is his, is his favorite actor. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Incident? Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! <gasps> Driving. Tessa, what are you doing? Why Why are you going along with this? You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! God, I hope she doesn't fart right now. Whoa, 
What did she just do? What's wrong? Did something happen? No. Everything's fine. Okay, let's go. What did she do? Uta. Okay, you don't care about the... Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> How'd I get in the car? How'd I get in the car? Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Okay, chat, just to make sure that I'm not like, uh, like, uh, answer the phone, Date. Answer the phone, Date. Date, answer the phone. Answer the phone? Answer the phone? Okay, so did, did they cut out the part where he woke up in the restaurant and then went to the car, started driving, and then the conversation happened with with, with Alba? Because that is not clear to me at all. My understanding is that he, he woke up from unconscious, like, in the car and, and Alba's driving. But, but I guess that's what happened. You just have to infer that. Okay, that's a little awkward, but all right, whatever. Okay. Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Oh no! Nitpicking? Asking for clarification is nitpicking? Iris. Live stream video. Wait, it was Oda the whole time? That's disappointing. No, that's... Is streaming this live. Iba, the source. Identify. What's this music? The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. That's Iris. It's Okiura. all for publicity. It's fake. It's Dante, makeup. Focus. We need to get to the site now. My phone on gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. Do 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 do. The engine raised a high pitched scream. Dude, the buildings are finally moving, but I could barely hear it. Do 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 do. My heartbeat was pounding in my ear, shaking me to the core. Do 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 do. All I could think about was that porno mag. How much time had passed? Do 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 do. The feeling of time itself had disappeared. 3.6, eventually the car reached a long bridge. Why are we describing it like this? Shortly after, the image changed. <laughs> this reminds me of those recaps when, uh, when you would send people on missions in Yakuza 0. Smashing success! That's, That's sick, sick bastard. bastard. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Why is he a bear? Oh, is that Oda? Damn, I kind of want a Coca-Cola right now. Oda. Wait, what? He just let you come out? No, that's gonna push it down. Wait, what the hell? Stay away from Tessa. Uh oh, it's gonna come back on. You have to keep your hand on it. You have to keep your hand on the lever. What are you doing? Date, we've almost reached the destination. Please, please let me make it in time. All right, off camera, what you didn't see though was him just ripping the bear suit off and then pretending to run back to turn it off. And now no one thinks it's him. Then he puts the bear suit back on. Harbor Warehouse District. I saved you. Okay, she still has her eye for sure. Or did he scoop out the eye as a commitment to the bit? I saved you for sure. Holy shit, is that it? 
He's insane. Germa, the early years? What the hell? Look how much I you love okay? you. I saved you. It was all a sock puppet. Dante. Where did they go? Through the back door. It is, isn't it? Hang it on. is, isn't it? It's, it's just, on the he's way. just sock puppeting in real life. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Okay, is her eye actually missing? Backup is en route to this Oh location. god, it is. Wait, would he Dante, would he take her eye like that though? All right, I'm on it. I don't think he would do that. Okay, I'm off this, but that would be an amazing amazing bit. He did insult her online though. He did do that. Police headquarters. What do you mean? Police headquarters. Well, that's the end of my story. I couldn't find the polar bear. Ooh, Any what? traces of the culprit? Okay. Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. <laughs> if it was filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Uh, a plaster figure. It's missing an eye, just like Iris is missing an eye now. Christmas tree. Well, Iris isn't going to have the depth perception to appreciate this anymore. It's a map. Iris's eye is out there somewhere. Mario. Okay, I... Th I really do think he set the whole thing up. I, I think he set it up. And then he stabbed himself? Like, how, how could he even get around the bear to do that? Would he really take her eye? Holy crap. That's so hardcore. That would be so... It would not be so... It would be genius. They set it up earlier with with his, like, Twitter... He's He's insane. He's an insane person. I would love that. That would be so interesting. I hope that's it. Boss is sitting at the top of the desk from this angle, so you should be able to see up her skirt, but you can't. <laughs> Not that I would want to. Okay, great. Thank you, Date. Very cool. Boss is at the top of the desk like normal. All right, did any of the uh, things update? No. Like, look, he, it's an escalation of what, he, what what just happened with, with the thing online, right? So he takes her somewhere. He was last seen with her, right? Takes her somewhere. F like, doses her. And, you know, f says that they got attacked. Takes out her eye to make it really, really, really fucking... Like, like look, he, you definitely were attacked by the killer. And look, I saved you. I got stabbed. And they just somehow disappeared. And I'm I'm in... Like, I was, I was a bear. Look how tall the bear was. That's not me. And he had a lot of time to get rid of the bear costume. That's it. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. So, Sejima? He was an Iris Asomnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Aiba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. Hell yeah. They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Uh, we can get her a new one. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me that. Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. Oh, she's still alive. Okay. Mayumi? 
She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Oh, you took the eye. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Oh. Perhaps she knows something. She knows. Yeah, she might. It was her. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. Wait, weren't we supposed to take Mizuki to see Iris? Was that an optional thing that we missed? How many different things, how many different scenes are in this game? Saikai, Segai, Nikai, Siokubai, Riai. You die, Gamai, Kaitai, okay. You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiara Fishery is owned by the Okiara we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiara Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. What? The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Okay. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. Okay. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. All right. Just a coincidence? So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family too. Oh, speaking of. Hey boss, did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? No. Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. Okay. She she's... took her back to your house, she's so away. Mizuki should still be there. Okay. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. All right, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, <laughs> Okay. We're going to have to go to the crime scene at some point. So let's go. Oh, we can go home? Oh, shit. You live here? In an abandoned warehouse. Hey, Mizuki. Could what? You take a break? I want to ask you something. Just, just benching a hundred kilos. This is it? This is... Hold, hold on. <gasps> metal pipe! She loves metal pipes. Where does she sleep? Is there another... That's, that's got a key on it. What the f... You know what? This is exactly how I imagined it was gonna be. I just thought there was gonna be another room. <laughs> this is like... Exactly what I thought it would look like. <laughs> but where's where's her room? All right, we can't look at anything. All right. <laughs> Mizuki is still working on her muscles. Oh 
man, look. Look. Two big ones and the flat one in the middle. Oh. oh, man. Music is clearly very important to Date. Is this a dream? Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? Uh-oh. I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully Whoa. sexist of you. Yeah, I agree. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. <laughs> I love her so much. She's so good. But how the fuck is she benching a fucking hundred kilograms? What the fuck? Is I'm attractive. Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. My girlfriend is a ninja. <laughs> She's just hiding in the shadows. She's also Canadian. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? Yeah, I can look around now. Mizuki's clothes and mine hanging on the right. Wait, did you? Did you just fucking this is over. <laughs> just stupid clits in the same clothes. <laughs> Don't waste so fresh time and brain power thinking of all clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful businessmen and scientists do it. Okay, honestly, Mizuki and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. With the, with the girlfriend ninja. Does Peter have all of his outfits hanging up the same way? My clothes are Mizuki's. His <laughs> clothes are hanging on the rack. They're mine and Mizuki's. Hey, could you stop hanging your clothes next to mine? What do you mean? Why? Your old people smell is going to get all over them. Huh. I mean, I do like older women. Date. I don't think that is what she's talking about. Wait, what? <gasps> Yuzuki's favorite metal pipe. I have no idea what she uses it for. She, <laughs> she has one. A backpack. It looks small, Mizuki now. Four years ago when I bought it for her, it looks so big on her back. A big window. A one-seater sofa. A three-seater, three-seat sofa I also use as a bed. I've been sleeping here for four years. Musicians cook over my other bed. What the fuck? There's a three, you've been sleeping on the sofa for four years? Just get another bed. What are you doing? What a bed made, good. Mizuki sleeps there every night. The speakers themselves are actually mostly hollow. Four years ago, Mizuki used to hide in them to scare you, didn't she? Yeah, and I would scold her every time. She hasn't done such childish things lately. Good news for me. You think so? I imagine that a part of you actually misses it. No, I hate her. No, I don't. D two gigantic fucking speakers and just no room for a bed. Just can't get. Th th sleep on this! What are you. <laughs> he definitely does have a plunger and fire extinguisher. Does he even have a toilet? Where's the bathroom? A bench press. The weights are real iron. The total weight is 220 pounds. Not that I can actually bench that. But she can a bench. Are we? We're just not addressing it, are we? We're never gonna bring it up. Hold on, is it in her bio? Fucking bench pressing. Is she? Is she like part ant? Like w what is this shit? Nope. What? You watch weird videos when I'm not around, don't you? Yep. Weird videos. Something about. Huckoldry? No, 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 no. Those are husbandry videos. <laughs> what? 
You know, like uh, animal husbandry, uh, raising livestock. Anyway, don't touch my computer without permission. What? <laughs> my hard drive is full of animal husbandry videos. A desk. A trash can. Oh, there's a chair next to the desk. There's a cork board on, on the wall. Holy shit. He pre-ordered Mars Needs Senpais. Oh, the callback. Large speakers. The insides are mostly hollow. His favorite game is NTR, the, the gungeon. A coffee table. The top is glass. Why do you have all these all, all this here audio equipment for an audio file? It's a door rabbit, a stuffed rabbit. It's a character Mizuki likes. I guess there's no point getting into it. There's a there's a bra hanging from the ceiling. No wait, just lighting equipment. Just lighting. Just looking. Just hugging. The entrance. Hey Mizuki, could you get rid of the Cleone in there? Cleone? Aw, do I have to? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah. If it were yeah. just one or two, I'd let it slide, but there's a hundred in there. It's not my fault they started breeding. But, but that's what you were trying to do. I would like to see them. My refrigerator is packed with beer, food, and a bunch of Cleone. Can you eat them? It's a pot. A kitchen. There are seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. Okay, it's about time for a break, actually. I'll be back in about five minutes, and then we will, I don't know, do another half hour, maybe an hour. I don't know if we're going to go for the for, for the for two hours, but we'll see. But I'm going to take a break. I want to finish this scene at the very least, but I'll be back. I need to pee, and we're for two hours. Well, four hours. Every two hours, take a break.
How's it going, Dragon's Den? Sorry, I have some chocolate in my mouth. Midnight Killer 747. So I search cuckoldry. Really? This is how you're learning about that? Wow. Congratulations on um, going this long. Joe, do you like Cadbury chocolate, like the real shit? I do like Cadbury chocolate. The real stuff from Britain, yeah, pretty good. Do we need an animal husbandry emote? No, we don't. We don't. No, no, we don't. We don't. No, we're good. We're good. A cushion. It's cold. I'm going to catch a cold over here. What? Because of the cushion? What? What? I don't understand. Is it a joke? If it is, plus two. But if it's not, I'd like to know... Mizuki is sitting on the bench. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. On the computer? That wasn't me. I wasn't here. Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. All right. 1,000% he faked this. Ota's out of intensive care. Iris is still... But I know she'll be okay. Iris' surgery will definitely be a success. You stay positive, even if there's no reason to be. It's one of your good qualities, Date. What? I believe it. Iris is going to be just fine. Wow. Okiura Fishery is a company Grandpa made. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. Say goodbye. Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? That's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? Yeah. I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs too. I suppose you are what they call a tit man. <laughs> the fuck, man? I never met him. He died before I was born. But Daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when Grandpa was in Great Grandma's tummy. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a line. Um. Am I acclimating to this kind of bullshit, or is this game pulling it off better than the previous games that we that we see in the past? I feel like I don't want to be acclimating, so I feel like it, it's pulling it off better in making fun of the main character, but like actually laying it on a bit thick from the other characters like the other characters are giving him a hard time but it's not like oh but now we're gonna get burger like it's 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 very different than than ace attorney i keep coming back to ace attorney i don't know maybe the voice it might maybe it's the voice acting i don't know Maybe it's because there's a history with these characters. Maybe that's it too. Like she's known him for four years. The the uh, the robot knows him for four years too. Like this this it feels less like haha we're having a perverted moment, and instead it, it it's more like familial like jabbing and like verbal sparring. You know what I mean? The, I don't know. 
I'm trying to think of the other games we played like this, and usually it's like new people meeting for the first time, and it's like, hey, I'm going to be perverted for a second. Whereas this feels more like the characters are having fun and they're in on the joke a bit. Mm, I don't know, but it's working for me though, I think. She was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? On the ocean. Yep. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins. Huh? By the time he was ten, he was catching fish with his bare hands. Wait, bare hands? Like and a polar bear? Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. That can't be true. I mean, it's an anime game. Maybe it can be, but there's a part of me that's thinking maybe. <laughs> After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. Yeah, she can lift all this shit. I believe her grandpa was an incredible man. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? I'm coming with you. No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. Bring her with you, you monster. You grew up in the UK. What's the deal with legends? Um, using legend as a... As a descriptive term was... It came about a little after I left. So I left uh, the UK oh, 21 years ago. I've been, I went back, I think twice after that to visit or once, but again, it was like, like a year or two later. And um, people I knew had, had, had started saying like, oh, legend and shit like that. Um, when I, when I visited back and they, they weren't saying that previously. So it's, it's sort of a, a new, new ish, uh, way of describing things. Oh, legend. Oh, he's a legend, you know, like national treasure, that, that sort of shit. So I don't know where it came about. Just whatever, like just British speak, just slang that has developed. It's okay. I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You are the one who knew how special I was before anyone. Super strong. It was one year ago. I know something strange. Mizuki came home from school. What? That she's super strong? Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. And I got mad and... The fact that she calls her mom mom and not mommy when she continues to call her father daddy shows that the girl has a more of a connection with her father than her mother. There is more of a bond there and she still feels more like a child and more affection toward her father figure than her mother figure. Who knew a Wii game could have such subtleties? I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. I already did. I beat them all up. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. What? Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. Training time. What? I'm going to teach you how to kick their asses. Okay. We're starting right now. All right. Get ready. Oh, did he put... Aww. Aww, that's nice. He really gives a shit about her. So he, he, he got fake weights to make her think that she's a lot stronger than she is. So she'll, she'll feel more confident and stand up, stand up to them. That's really nice. Why the shrine? What the? This the is... shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? 
You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. If there was a 6v1 of bullies on my kid, I would go over and, like, wade through them and pick them up and physically throw them as far as I possibly could away from my kid. Like, like one by one, maybe even two at a time, one in each arm, just, like, pick up, like, whoa! Like, no, no adult intervention, my ass. Like, if you're ganging up on my kid, like, like no, I'm coming over. Sure, whatever. And then hopefully Lily would save me. First... I'm going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am Master. Are you, uh, okay, uh, Monument. What does it say? When riding an elevator, Mashing the door close button doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> That's what it says. You're lying. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah, he's lying. It actually does do something. <laughs> I can't read it. Hey, Date, what's that? It's a Chozuya. This is where you wash your belly button in the sacred water before you visit the shrine. Belly button? button yes absolutely in shinto the belly button is said to be the dirtiest place that is why before praying you have to cleanse yourself i see my belly is holy yeah that's where the button is i didn't mean for that to rhyme it didn't date i wish you wouldn't lie to her while she's impressionable <laughs> hmm? your story about the belly button no it's true she trusts you, you know. <laughs> She'll catch on eventually. I chose Uya. You wash your hands and face here. Definitely not your belly button. I am reminded, as I often am, of the lie that my mother told me when I was a kid and afraid of tornadoes. When she told me, I've said this on stream before, I will say it again. When she told me that when a tornado goes through a city, everything that the tornado picks up, it will just gently put back down again in the same place when it leaves. And I was like, oh, okay, I feel better now. Thank you, mom. And then it was like three, four years later that I told someone that and they looked at me like I was the biggest idiot they had ever seen in their entire life. And then mid-conversation, I realized my mom had lied to me and I was like, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a lantern. I think I prefer what? I think I prefer what? A lantern. A lantern. Okay, I don't know what that was. Can we see in the log? I think I prefer interns. Ooh, that was worth looking at again. A Shinto shrine. It looks rather solemn. But I've told this story on stream before, and I thought my dad was lying to me, and he wasn't. Here we go. Maybe he was lying. He didn't realize he was right. Okay? Repeated content. Sorry for, for those who, who, who have been here for literally every single stream. When we were living in an apartment building, and I used to do this thing where I would hit the button, and when the elevator would, would, would doors would open, I would jump preemptively into the elevator. Like, like I would always know that no one was already riding on it, because if like if the elevator started moving when I hit the button, I'd be like, okay, no one's in the elevator. Okay? So I, I would I would. Wait for the door to open and I would jump into the elevator like, like that right and then one day I, I did it in front of my dad we were on like the fucking like I think I don't know like 20th floor something like that I was I, I jumped in the elevator in front of my dad and my dad said you shouldn't do that because what if what if the elevator's not there when when the door opens and I looked at him like you're kidding you're lying that can't happen why would the door open if there was no elevator there and he was like okay fine and and and, and that was it okay and it was like 18 years later, me and Lily are living in an apartment building, okay? And, like, I, I called the elevator up. We're on the top floor. I called the elevator up. Doors open. No elevator. No elevator. Just complete empty elevator shaft. Door open. And I'm just staring down and I'm like... And I heard, and I heard my dad's voice come to me all these years later. And I was like, what the fuck? The elevator in that building was so fucked up. Like, sometimes it would be, like, like ha halfway up. And like, you would have, you'd have to like crouch down to get into it, but I didn't because I was scared. I just took the stairs. 
<laughs> one time I I came home and I was on the first floor and like someone was yelling for help and I went over to to the top to the first floor elevator and the elevator was like halfway up the 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 door and there were two people standing and you could only see their legs and they were like crouching down being like the elevator won't move like help so I went and got the I went and got the super all right so the super comes down and and the super's like oh shit okay just just climb on down, just go. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what? It, it, and, and they're like, wait, is it safe for us to just climb out and, and come down when the elevator's like this? And the super just kind of shrugged and went, yeah. And like me not being inside the elevator with full perception was like, this dude just lied. <laughs> like this dude is just like, he was just like, yeah, it's probably going to be fine. And like, I saw through it. It didn't work on me, but it worked on them, and they just, like, they just climbed out, and it was fine, but I was like, what the fuck, man? That could have gone horrifically wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck, I hate it. That, that part one was so fucked up. I actually looked away while they were climbing out. A training dummy. A guardian dog. Yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, I think we looked at everything. Mizuki looks skeptical. Your everyday life is of dire importance. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? Yes. No, it's the opposite. Don't aim for the heart. You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target. A punching bag or a board. Just a punching bag? Huh. Hey, Mizuki, do you have any fishing line and gum? <laughs> hey, everybody, there's a thief over here! No stealing allowed. Would that work? It wouldn't work. What? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. Actually, not bad advice. Damn. I get it. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. <laughs> Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? No, a gun. That is a respectable answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Please pull out the gun. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. Okay. I kind of get it, but... Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay... I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you, like, acting or something? Not Date. Master. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like, thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. Yeah. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. <laughs> before I go in... If I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. <laughs> He's elaborating! The mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Do you? Actually, no. That's stupid. Anyway, practice these four truths, and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? Yes. But how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Well, let's see. 
How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. Oh no. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, punch forward. Hey! Uh, excuse me? Huh? Ooh. How is that? Um. Uh, oh. Are we being legit right now? You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. Oh my god, they're... Okay, when does the ghost show up? When when does the, okay when when does the ghost show up then? Chat dislikes ghosts. What when's the ghost gonna show up? I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Yeah. Really? But never ever strike your master. That. Is a must. Yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong, you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. I can't put you in danger. Why didn't you bring this up when Iris was like, you, you couldn't have lifted her, uh, lift, lifted Renju? What if she's also super strong, like, 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 Mizuki is? That's not fair. Bringing up daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know. When the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? He's not gonna come in and talk. No, I don't mean like um I have to say like Mizuki is really strong, but in his mind he might might be like, okay, well in this world some people are a lot stronger than they look, apparently. I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm confused. Maybe he's still faking it. I don't know. I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Okay, hospital now? Sejima residence? What's that? Is that the politician? Joe, can you say hi to my friend Venen Vodwatcher for me? You know what? I think I just did. Are you bothered by the Super A little bit, yeah. I, I don't Are know where okay? it's going. That's kind of weird. Date. The nurse told me you were here. Hey, Hitomi. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. Her voice sounds like it was recorded with a lower quality microphone than everyone else. I don't know if there's different setup or something, or if they're going for something a little more crackly. They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders, and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. <laughs> Iris! <laughs> Iris, you're wrong. Yeah, the nurse told me. But Great I'm fine now. I feel much better. A window. A curtain uses a divider. I Pardon see you. Me? When Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Okay. Seeing that curtain made me think about She's it. She's gonna be less good at that now. You're gonna win. Was that flirting? There's a bedside table. LCD TV on the bedside table. 
equipment used for monitoring vital signs and measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. A cupboard. It's full of cups. I can see a toilet in there. Oh man, you have a bathroom? I don't even have a bathroom at home. What is this FOV? A sink. A bed. They told me he's sitting next to the bed. She looks exhausted. Do you know anything about Iris and so? So Sejima? The politician? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. I am so thankful for Oda. No. Words don't even do it justice. Ota saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. Please. If Ota didn't go to the warehouse that night. Oh, please. Iris would be dead. It's not even a good plan. I really don't even know what to say. Why is no one questioning it? The killer just stood there and just let him stop it? Why set it up? Why live stream it? Like... Oh, oh no, there's nothing I could do. I'm stuck in this bear costume. Like, really? It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. Let's make one. Oda was actually one of my students. I what? was his teacher in elementary school. What? Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Qua? Not that I'm one to say, but... I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. Ooh. He risked his own life to save someone else. Hey, Lily. How's it going? Okay. Very, very, very hot. Thank you for the tea. You're welcome. His mother must have raised him well. She... Iris lost her left eye. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> they haven't found it yet. It's... But I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Was it me? Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Okay. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... Was I she one of the... About Monica. The eye people? And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. Damn. Thinking about her now. She also was killed and lost an eye, but it was the other eye, so I'm not going to think about it too much. That must Possible have been very painful. For you. Yes. Damn. We need to go help them play I Spy. Hey, tell About me, your alibi. What were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about... all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Okay, what about... Correct. With Renju. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? Oh, about an hour. 20 to 25 minutes by car. Ooh. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. Why are we... If you're fast, you can just make it. Why are we entertaining the... Po Do you suspect Hitomi? <laughs> Not necessarily, but... We have eyewitness testimony of the polar bear driving a, driving a clown car down the highway. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Thanks for messaging me. Alright, where to next chat? Should we just keep going top to bottom? We have to go to the there. Alright, so let's just keep going top to bottom. Damn, I thought we were gonna visit Iris and Oda in the hospital. Not not just uh not just her. Okay. We can just come here. This looks nice. How did you get in? 
hopped over the fence. Yeah. That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. <laughs> a pond. Look, I have a, a giant salamander. Mr. Sejima is a wealthy man. Perhaps it is his pet. Really? I don't see it. Pond. There are many koi in the pond, as well as a salamander. Are we playing koi about the salamander? There's a small island in the center of the pond. Oh man, this is really nice. A garden stone. A garden stone. A garden stone. That's a big moss ball. No, actually, it's a well manicured tree. You must be into topiary. It's a big moss ball. Hold on, is he? Is he? One second. Where is he? So. No. Oh, wait. It's an asset. That's true. That's true. It is an asset. Okay. More grass set. For sure. The Sejima residence. Sejima. A tree. Mm -hmm. A garden lantern. Well, that is strange. Why is Reika from the Cabaret Club over there? What? That's a lantern. It doesn't look anything like her. Cabaret Club? Mars needs senpais. Under the table... There's a rest area with a roof over it. Varga is saying completely still emotionless. I don't know anything. Even if I did, I couldn't tell you. I'm sworn to confidentiality. No, it's this girl. Show the picture virus I had. Whoa, she's super cute. Cute? Ah. What was that? Uh, nothing. You just said cute, didn't you? Yeah. I did not. You did. You did. I did. I heard you. Did not. Yeah, I did. No, did. I did. 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 I said shoot. No, you said cute. Why would you say shoot? Look, I said I don't know her, all right? You also said she was cute. Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several. But for some reason, they are all powered off. There is no image data for the past few days. Uh-oh. Really? That's too suspicious to ignore. Yep. There's an arch-shaped stone bridge over the pond. Damn. If Agent 47 pushed him down there right now, he would die. He would just be dead. Can we look at the sky? I don't. Who is that? Showing the picture I had. Cute. This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No. no, I've never seen her. She's cute. I detect no noticeable rise in So's body temperature. Yeah, but he's this a politician. Guy's a politician. <laughs> is job. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> well, true. So is he, so is he in the coin in the pond. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Iba. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Yeah, thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. Oh, we can continue that later. Oh, God damn it! It must be important. Here, sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Somebody Did you died. not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. <laughs> what I book? I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So, Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. 
Okay. Got him. I didn't want to get rough. Uh-oh. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the koi. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body. Oh, I'm checking. Several guns. Okay, I have one too. This guy is a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. Oh no. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> oh, damn it. He knows his rights. Are you finished? Damn it. If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Oh, I'm leaving. Date, I don't believe we can accomplish anything I'm taking a koi here. with me for dinner. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. Killer says what? Um, who might you be? We met oh, before. I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. What? At least something a little more than flashing your badge. Do you not remember? My name is Kaname Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Okay, why didn't you help me when your son knocked me unconscious with a walk? Okay, there's, there's nothing here, right? Nothing here? Same bullshit as always? Yeah, I think we're good. Alright. It's my Yumi. Oda's mother. She has a picture framed next to her. About last night. Last night? What time? Uh, Before 10 p.m. You know. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? What? That can't be. Ota. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? Uh, well... I was hurt from the walk. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. What? Can can we push her, please? It was when my son had just started elementary school, I had Oda run an errand for me, and he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. You know what's fucked up about Moncton? If so you get you get to the crosswalk, right? And you want to cross the street. You push the button and if Okay, I need to be really specific here, okay? So, like, the cross, the crosswalk, right? The, the light, the light is red ahead of you, right? And if you, if you push the button, when the light changes to green and the cars can go in the same direction you want to cross, then the crosswalk will also change, so you can cross too. If you push the button, 
after that it's already happened and like the time frame that they've allotted for, for the crossing has already gone through then it won't change you have to wait for the whole thing to cycle again okay however if you press the button a little too early after like like the lights don't change immediately if the if the if the cars can go and it wouldn't have changed yet and you hit, hit the button before that it still doesn't change you have to wait for the whole thing all over again the whole thing all over again you have you have to wait for this to cycle all the way around it's ludicrous even though like it, it wouldn't have changed yet if you pushed the button earlier what i know it's stupid why why do you even have to put if it's set on a timer why even push the button like just have it just have the crosswalk just change to like you can cross on the same time i don't i don't understand people here just 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 ignore the uh the streets here they just just walk across whenever sometimes it's for the visually impaired the they have um you can have the the things where you hit the button though and they can have the the sounds coming out of them as well that's fine they don't have to get rid of the boxes just like um just have it change automatically and you can still hit the button for like you know making you feel like you're ha you're making something happen right so stubborn so stupidly honest. i dislike it here that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. And now he's ripped out a girl's eye. Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Ooh, what? What's going on right now? Oh, this? As you spoke, she turned the photo toward me, and it was her son, dead. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. <laughs> what? What in the Hitler is that? Excuse me? That looks... That looks like an amnesia monster. I have... I have tiny little scrunched up eyes, so I kill people for their eyes? What... What... What is this? I wanted to look at it again. I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Oda. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. Uh oh. Oh, I was so happy. Uh -oh. I was crying and smiling. Wait, is that the knife that he used to take out the eyes and it's just been hiding there in plain sight this whole entire time? No one knew it was the murder weapon if I gave it to my wife and she's been making food with it. That's we just redecorated it. Was from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? No, it's absolutely yes. terrifying. It's I do nice, what what is this? Where's your husband? Oh, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. He's in prison. His name is Matsushita Takaro. <laughs> it's Charlie Brown. What the hell is that? He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. No way. He's not dead. Look at all the effort that went into this small. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Date, I noticed something. Uh, Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? She's cold. She's completely cold. Thermo. Uh, she's brain dead? Oh, my god, she's stupid? Do you see it? 
part of her brain is blue. Her whole brain that is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. Mayumi's broken! I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Dementia? Blue brain? Symptoms vary considerably, six years? but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. I see. Oh, the so that's where those weird blue. comments are coming from. The photograph is blue, and so am I. Can she run a diner like that? Apparently. It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Uh, Matsushita okay. Diner is near the Kapasaki district. Okay. It is not technically within the restricted area. Is she? Uh, did she get dementia from being ill from uh, from the chemical explosion or whatever? From the from exposure or whatever? Hmm. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. I think she's just old. She's not that old, isn't she? <gasps> um, 54. Yeah, she's only 54. It's not that old. Bodyguard. Name, secret. Sex, male, age, unknown. Birthday, May 25. Profession, so is bodyguard. Likes booms, <laughs> erotic novels. Dislikes men. Males, testosterone, hobbies, swimsuit magazines, <laughs> skills, self-defense. Overview, he is one of So's many bodyguards. Even though they all look alike, they are not clones. They all wear face masks to hide their identity. <laughs> oh, how is, uh, how, oh, we've all, all, almost met all the characters. How is Mayumi remembering Iris and everything then? I wonder if, I wonder if she thinks Iris is somebody else. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally... Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. Hmm. I can't believe it. Well, is that all? Okay. I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. All right, kind of sad. My used to that I went to the kitchen. Retain memory during dementia experiences. Yeah, it's it's um it's definitely possible that she could remember Iris, but Dante, I'm just let's go. thinking out loud. Maybe she's uh, getting mixed up with somebody else. You're right. This is such a messed up picture. So she's cutting vegetables or something. Let's go look. She's cutting up a corpse back there. Oh, that's why the calendar was wrong. It says good luck. Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. Where's Kanabi? One van and one station wagon. Police officer, I asked him about the investigation, but there's been no progress. Police officer. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car!
Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Oh, they did that quickly. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. Uh-oh. What was it? Ota's cell phone. Oh. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. The van owned by the Matsushita family. Oda's fingerprints were found on the driver's seat and irises were found on the passenger seat. Oda's cell phone fell under the driver's seat. This station wagon is a stolen car. Oh, the bear stole a car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. Very specific, okay. The Famisto parking lot, huh? Are we gonna go there next? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. Oh, what an idiot! The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. See how you should lock your cars, Date? Learn this lesson. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. What? What? Ota got into the car and drove off. But the van. The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. Uh. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. Um... I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Um... Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. Um. Um. Wow, it's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. Oh. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. Do 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 do. do. Aren't you cold? No, I don't feel cold. Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. Oh, it's a pewter? That keeps me warm. Nice, N right? No rips? All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. What? Where's mine? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Oh, so you found something. Oh, the oil drum killer! It really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamagura. Oh, you're jealous. What part of her looks like a metal tube? You're jealous. Why have Reika when you can have Alba? I agree, actually. The shell was packed with cardboard boxes. I asked the cop on the scene. He said there wasn't anything special in them. Oh, man. Renju would love cardboard boxes. There's a dark spot over there. Shadows on the left catch my eye. Okay, hold on. Let's talk to everyone first. What's your name? <laughs> Good one, Date. <laughs> Whoa. Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. It's coming back to me. It has something to do with glass? <laughs> Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like... Oh, six letters long. You remember all that, but not my name? You still don't know? No, not yet, but I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters... Is the forklift frozen? Kodaka. Right? Yeah. Not even close. It's a little close. Do you want me to just tell you? No, no, give me a hint. 
It starts with ka. Ka dot ka. ka. Three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. Um. Is it Kaniza? Yeah, sure, man. That's my name. Oh, we got it. His name is Kaniza. Probably born between June twenty second and July twenty second. Okay, I don't get it. Plus two. That's my friend Kaniza. The inspector's doing his duties as usual. You mean Kaniza's doing uh, his, his duties? Yeah. Wish it were under better circumstances. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> huh. Yeah, thinking the same thing. What? Uh, no, nothing so far. Guy pals. No, unfortunately I live alone. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Ooh. Hey, now you're talking. You know, Rika? You're buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. Oh, I'm buying. I recorded yeah. that conversation. Okay, and? I will be sending it to the boss later. Who asked? Uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. That must be Oda's blood. That's where he was stabbed and went down. What was he stabbed with? There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. A wooden box on the shelf. It's empty. The forklift. I don't see anything special about it. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. I agree. Yep. Me and Ibar are on a good, uh... Good wavelength. It's dark over there. Too dark. Is it of concern? Joe Dark. Yeah, but without some light, I can't see. I am perfect for times like this. Check the case files for name? No way. No way. Oh, he's there. Hold on. What was the guy's name? Oh, is he not even on here? Inspector. Not nah, Araya Kagami. He's there. Didn't update his name. How is this guy on here? Name Takiro Matsushita. Sex male, age 55, deceased. Was he a lot older than her or profession? Owner of Mats Matsushita Diner. Likes Mayumi Oda Matsushita Diner. Dislikes customers who don't finish their food. Hobbies, fishing, shogi, Skills, backflips, and throwing knives. Overview. Takiro is an ardent student of cooking and very particular about the ingredients he uses. Therefore, his diner attracted many customers but did not make a significant profit. Helping Mayumi was his first priority, decreasing his focus on the diner. Alright. Alright, cool. What, what a nothing character. Alright, awesome. That was boring. You let me down, game. There's something there. You should go pick it up. Huh. I recognize this. What is it? An Odoroki Man chocolate. Oh, man. You've been collecting them for three years. It's from Boss's room. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki. But eventually... You got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. I like bullshit like this. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Oh. Why I... is this here? Mizuki was Perhaps here. Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. Wait. Were we here? There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? That machine is used to cut ice. 
We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. It's pretty fun how the story has strung together three crime scenes so far. Pretty effortlessly, too. Yeah, I really like how this is paced and how this, the story is progressing here. This is really good so far. Hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. A nice cutting machine. It's been here a while, so it hasn't moved or wasn't moved. What we we'll hold a workbench? 3 a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. This is the workbench Iris was lying on. I can't find any clues here. Okay, it looks like it's just the computer now. Ooh, evidence marker! Evidence marker. It's a little marker that's put up to track evidence of the scene. Oh. Um. Forklift to stop. Looks like it hasn't been moved in years. I don't know if it has anything to do with what happened this morning. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All streamers are criminals. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. Oh. Good thing they had a good upload speed here. <laughs> oh, you, you see a cushion? Oh, oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. I'm surprised that no character mentioned Oda as a suspect, suspect yet because the game is making him so obviously suspicious that he must be a red herring. First time? Never forget. 11037. Never forget. Never forget. A video camera and a laptop used for the stream. We probably can't find the culprit with these though. Okay, this was a waste of time. Abyss Headquarters. Alright, we're going to do a car ride on the way back and she's going to finish her story about someone buying it up. Yeah. Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Actually, let's end the stream because this is probably a good place to end it because we're in driving and we can do this at the start and we can summarize everything right before, the, before at the start of the stream tomorrow. Because we're above five hours, it's 6.15, I think this is a good place to end. The time's come, so have uh, any theories to the story so far? Um, not really, to be honest. No, no, nothing... Nothing is is formulating as a serious theory in my head. Like I, there's like bullshit about Date being involved. Um, like I'm I'm almost certain that Oda is the one who did it uh, for for this one in particular. But for the rest of them, I don't really know. Um, there's there's a lot of threads, right? There's that prisoner that called and said, "Hey, I I know who did it, but let me out." There's the whole Yakuza part of w working with Renju and Shoko and. Like, what is Iris even doing? Like, where does Mizuki play into this? And why is Rohan even a character? Like, we didn't, like, there's another killer did the same thing, like, six years ago, and we lost our memory. Like, I don't know. It's it's kind of, it's kind of all over the place. In a good way. I, so I don't really have a, uh, I don't really have a, a, a serious working theory at the moment of what's happening. My guess is that there's bits of information I don't have yet, or I'm expecting it to make sense and it's not. It's going to be dumb. <laughs> Favorite character? Probably between uh, the main three. I like I like Alba, I like uh, Date, and I like uh, Mizuki. I like those three quite a lot. 
I like the dynamic they have. I wish that Aiba could talk to Mizuki and the three of them could could intermingle and talk. I think that would be uh, that would be fun. Hopefully that starts happening at some point soon. Also, where does the receptionist come in? How come her shoulders are stiff just recently? That's true! Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Maybe they're stiff because she was lifting bodies and 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 beer kegs up on the counter. That's true. That's true. Oh man. Big if true. Big if true. Anyway, so that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you uh, on the morrow for more of Al Seminium Files. Um, I don't know how long of a playthrough this is going to be. I'm guessing we have at least four streams of this left. Maybe even as much as 12. I have no idea. But um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get through it. I'm really enjoying it. Good, good times. Good times. All right. See you everybody. Oh. Do 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 do